Yeah. Anyway, welcome. Speaking of disappointments. Speaking of disappointments, to welcome to the Blurry welcome. Podcast, welcome episode Blu-ray's number episode 118. 118. I'm Adrian. That's Gore. Oh, yeah. That's David. I'm David. I'm David. <laughs> <laughs> this is our video game oh, podcast. We oh. usually go live on twitch.tv oh, slash debunked oh. every Thursday, but right now we're not because I'm currently, while you watch this on Dead. YouTube in California, uh, and uh, I'm not streaming this, so we're doing all that stuff. Uh, we usually talk news, do all that good stuff, but uh, we only have one news story because only one thing has happened since our last recording, which has been a lot of talk about this abandoned game, which, assuming... By the time you guys watch this on YouTube, everything should... Maybe not. I mean, we could probably see something and maybe still not, not know. But there know. should be some more uh, acknowledgement over this. But right now, we're recording this. I'm going to update this. Recording this the day before the uh, the app on PS5 goes out. So yeah. this will we'll be... Gore's going to be on that shit. I know Kyle's going to watch yeah, it, yeah. too. So we'll hear, everyone's going to dissect the hell out of that thing. So we'll see how that works out. So maybe yeah. by, by the time you watch this, this will uh, be old news. It's confirmed. Maybe it's not. But we're going to go through... Uh, Gore made a video on this. We're going to go through it more thoroughly. A uh, the, uh, the Reddit post and a couple other things have happened since Gore's video, too, even today. So we're going to go through a couple of things to talk about all that. Um, but then otherwise, it's going to be a normal episode with us talking about what we played, what we got, and uh, some trivia. So nothing too uh, wild. Hopefully it shouldn't be too long of a podcast, but we're going to do yeah. it. Yeah. 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 Let's yeah. See. yeah. Uh, Really yep. quick though. Uh, there we go. Really quick. Yeah, my yeah. background's not moving. Really quick, these nuts. These, these nuts. nuts uh, uh, Gore, you you've been uh, hating Loki, right? Oh uh, no, we don't need to talk about that. We're gonna do what we watch. And by the time this goes up, the third episode, yeah. And you're gonna hate it then too. Yeah. Well, then save the hate until we you get back. Yeah, and then almost good the entire pilot season. for it. All right, I'll I'll say this. I don't hate it. I just think fucking it's despise fucking it. Not, <laughs> it's not fucking good. <laughs> um, so far, I, not not bad. Not even but like cute Loki bo- man. Not even below average. Yeah, um, it's just not good. I just I, it's like average maybe. I, it's it's really unfortunate that they uh, they're they're taking Loki and just making him a giant fucking joke like they did with Thor. Where Thor it worked. I don't find it working with Loki. Because I don't think any of the humor is funny. I think I think really unfortunate because one one of the writers or the main writer is the guy that did a lot of the Rick and Morty stuff. Um, I think I just don't find it funny. To show that the Rick and Morty crew weren't that fucking funny to begin with. Hey, I think Rick and Morty's funny, but in, in the context of Rick and Morty, these jokes might work, but in the context of Loki, they they're not funny. It, um, it could also just be that Taika Waititi is just a phenomenal writer, so or director that uh, he knows how to sure. really get I humor really out of everything you know because like because yeah, i i don't think loki is any more different than he was in ragnarok but the thing is the quality wise of, of the jokes well, are he different. should be different in, than in ragnarok, yeah, yeah, yeah that's true because he hasn't gotten so if he's there the yet. same then that's a that's a negative right there because why is he the same he grew over the last few years in between avengers one and thor ragnarok but in the, in the Avengers, watch the Avengers again. He's not, he makes a couple of wisecracks, but for the most part, he's smooth. He's, he's, he's cunning. He, tra- he fucking tricks the Avengers at one point. And in here, the time cops show up and he's just like, Woo, and then he gets trapped and that's it. And then he's just like, uh, watch my powers. What's going on? I'm a dumbass. You know, it's just like, and it, this isn't the same Loki that it should be in the Avengers. It, this should be more like, like actually backstab you while telling a joke, Loki. Yeah, because um, there was like, I mean, I personally, I, I'm I'm having a good time. I, I I like it, but but the the one part that was a little bit much is that like, you can tell. I mean, it, it could also just be us knowing Loki so much now, but you could tell when Loki is very obviously playing a, like he's trying to do a thing, you know. Yeah. Like, like he's, he's trying, trying to, to people, try right? and trick people, right? I kind of um, like that stuff. Like, I, I was having, when he was trying to trick Owen Wilson in the beginning of the second episode, I'm like, all right. Yeah, but... Watch but, him go on. It's very obvious. Yeah, that's it's what like, I mean. Hey, it's it's, it's a little it, obvious. At least I, it's fun to I watch. I like some ang- ambiguity with it, though, you know? Like, that. that's what really makes sure. Loki but who he is. Loki should be a villain in this and then slowly turn into a good guy. Yeah. But we're because... in, the, in, the first episode, in the first episode, everybody else seems more like a villain. Because they're fucking melting people, and I think they're going to be the villains. That's that's kind of the the thing they're they're well, ramping up to. 
Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what's gonna happen. I'm sure Owen Wilson will end up being like a good guy. Oh, Wilson's well, like gonna be. Here's what's guy. gonna happen. Owen Wilson's gonna be good. The Lady Loki is gonna be not a bad guy. It's true. She's really like like anti-hero, but like doing. Yeah. She like the, uh, the TVA the is not gonna, gonna be the bad guy. TVA is not gonna be a good a good uh, society. Uh, no. Lady Loki is not a good person, but sh- but neither but but the TVA is worse because they literally control everything. So she's the gonna do that, gonna and then. Guys. It's a, this is all stuff that even if it's true, it's like yeah, no shit. It's, yeah. it's like, but like the lady's gonna be the bad guy. Probably uh, the one that Owen Wilson's. Uh, I can't say the word, but he's a. Uh, oh, he's the, like the judge. Double, he's like yeah, he's like double her age. He's hitting on her from it. Um, it's a little weird. Owen well, that, like, uh, time confused. doesn't exist in the uh, TVA. <laughs> uh, yeah, my ass. Look at Owen Wilson and compare. <laughs> compare. Time doesn't exist. How come they're all not fucking babies then? The fuck happened? Were they born? 55 years old? I don't get it. He was why taken they, at 55. Why, they, why would they create? No, he said he was made by the fucking timekeepers. Nah. He said that like three three or four different times. He wasn't taken. Where are you going? You fat bastard, come here. Come here. He is. Hold on. Damn. Come on, <laughs> put your fucking headset on. Yeah, welcome back. Where the fuck did you go? I'm talking about Loki. my water. Why anyway, blue? we'll talk. We'll talk more about right. that uh, next episode. Right. Well, not next episode, the following episode after that, because next week's anyway. episode is going to be us reacting to uh, the uh, Microsoft 2010 E3 conference. Me, Gore, and Kyle do that. One joke of a press conference. Yeah, you'll see. You'll see One how that that happens. Garbage. Anyway, uh, I haven't really watched anything, so we'll just leave it at that. Uh, David, what'd you play this week? Nocturne. All right, uh, on the final boss. <laughs> Eyes on the final boss. Uh, yeah, I'm right before the final boss, just doing some prep work. Because uh, you need to be prepared oh, shit, I'll be for back. a bunch of shit. All right. Oh my god, everybody's fucking. I'm leaving too. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. This, I'm leaving. <laughs> this is David's Nocturne Tot. Uh, almost ready to go ahead and roll on the true demon ending. I uh, just need basically to get my final team ready for the final boss, which takes a little bit of prep work. Uh, just hit the 56 hour mark. So probably another four, maybe six hours tops off the game finally done. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, man. I'm proud of you. Anyway. All right. So he's almost done with Nocturne. Gore, what you play this week? Is my, is my turn? Uh,. All right, well, I played more Mass Effect 2. I'm right at the end, so I'm going to finish that up this weekend. Uh, probably, I was going to probably play that, actually, after we're done. Uh, I started up Ratchet & Clank. I'm only a few hours in. Uh, really fun. Uh, good times to be had. Looks great. Um, it's fun. Weapons are fun. That's all I got to say. It's really just fun. Uh, I'm actually kind of digging the characters way more than I have in the previous games. I think it's because they got rid of a lot of the fucking annoying ones, like Captain Cork. Um, and now it's just focusing on Ratchet and Clank and the oh. new character. So it's, the story is still just like, ah, evil guy. He just he fucked the time stream up or something. Go Loki. Get him. Yes. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's a, actually, it makes more sense, honestly. Um, and it's actually funnier. That's not even a joke. I actually laughed a couple times during this game. So it looks like it has a lot of charm. Yeah, they don't fuck with the Infinity Stones, too, in this game, so that's good. Um, and belittle 20 other movies. I saw, but, I finally uh, saw your reaction. I've been kind of slow because I've been busy, but I saw your reaction. Yeah, you're slow, so are the writers of Loki. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like Loki. I, th- I know you do. It, it's it's fine. I, it's I, fine. I, I don't care if you it. like it. It's just like it. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. A lot of people you're like it. You're like things that other people don't. Yeah. yeah. I don't, I, I don't Gore. like it. I don't hate it. Again, I don't hate it. And I'm hoping they... It's just like a WandaVision situation where the first three episodes of WandaVision were great. And then it started to lose itself. And then So you, the hope end, again, oh, you hope it's great right now and it loses itself even more? No, no. I, I, I'm saying it's the opposite where it's not that great and then it gets really good towards the end. Or how about the first um, couple episodes are all bullshit and then it's like, oh, wait, no, everything's okay. If they say the TVA was all bullshit and it's like there's no actual time shit, I mean, I, and they just have cool technology that does time stuff, then I'll be, I, I'll be okay with it because the time stuff and the Infinity Stone shit and all this, uh, the guy not knowing what a fish is, like, it's, it's all <laughs> stupid jokes. It's not, I don't even, I don't get it. He's that guy's face like is a, hilarious, though. He looks like he looks like one of the guys from WandaVision. Um, he does, right? 
Yeah, I, I can't remember which character, but like he looked like somebody from WandaVision. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, what was I actually talking about though? Oh, Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Ratchet and Clank is fun. I highly recommend it. Uh, I guess it's around 15, 20 hours long, so I think you're getting a good amount of gameplay. It's 70. I'll wait till it's cheaper. Yeah, I mean, right now I've seen people selling it for like 50 on eBay. So, I mean, that's not bad. I'd recommend it for 50 for sure. Um, it looks great, though. And the, the dual sense is nice. It rumbles at, uh, you know, accordingly. And the triggers are nice. I like that stuff, but uh, whatever. Anyway, the weapons are great, too. Uh, my favorite one right now is the, um, the, I forgot what it's called. It's like the sprinkler that turns everything into like moss and they just like freeze. It's like a freeze gun, except it just sprinkles. It's fun. Gotcha. Uh, Ratchet and Clank always have really fun weapons. Uh, but so far, it's good. What else did I play? Uh, I, I started up... Uh, oh, I, I, I played WarioWare Gold. I was just in the yep. mood to play that because they announced the new WarioWare game. Um, and I never played it. And it's fun. I played the story mode. It was only a couple hours long. It, it, I, I enjoyed it. Um, so I'm looking forward to the new one. And I started up uh, Metroid Samus Returns again. I'm about like three hours into it now. It's really fun. I wish it would come to Switch, because the control the controls are on 3DS are fine. It's just weird playing a 3DS game again. Like WarioWare is not really the same thing as playing a Metroid game, because WarioWare is just like you're fucking blowing into the thing and you're like scratching it and you're tilting it and shit. Sucking but Metroid, it. I'm actually trying to aim with the fucking thing. It's like I'm holding it. I feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel just fucking trying. I'm like you have to use the <laughs> one trigger, which by the way, the fucking not triggers. I'm sorry. The the the, the bumpers. bumpers on the 3DS suck. I hate them. Um, on every every portable console, even the even the PS Vita, I don't like the bumpers. Um, but uh, the 3DS it sucks real bad because they have the two different bumpers and then. Like, they're both really small. If I had my 3DS here, I'd show it just for if you don't remember. But, uh, yeah, but uh, it, it's fun. I've already played it, though, but I was in the mood because they announced the new Metroid. I almost loaded up. I, I forgot I had uh, Metroid Fusion on my 3DS because when the, ambassador. the 3DS, uh, yeah, the ambassador thing, I was going to load that up because that makes the most sense. But because uh, this is this new one's a sequel to that. But uh, I was going to get on Wii yeah. U. I forgot that was on yeah. Wii U. What are, what are the games that are on 3DS that like are GBA games? I, I, I didn't even look. And I didn't want to set up my Wi Fi on my 3DS because. I feel like there's a lot. Yeah, the I want to look because I want to see. No, because they, didn't they have a other virtual console games on Earthbound the 3DS? was on there? For GBA specifically. Oh, no. Not GBA? Okay. Yeah, no, GBA they could never actually work, which was funny. Like, they just gave it to everyone because they're like, well, I guess they, these are the only ones we could make kind of work. Because there was all that. Yeah, they, they work because I play WarioWare, the original is on there. Like, yeah, but isn't like you can't like you can't like actually like sleep the, sh the system or anything like that? I, I never tried. So. Yeah, there's some weird emulation issues. There's, there's, that's why they never actually got released on 3DS. Um, If that's the only problem, then they should have released it anyway. Like let's like I I will take not being able to sleep it and like usually I don't with my 3ds. Same I usually just close the lid call it a day. Yeah I, I, I usually I and... usually sleep mine still. Well I wouldn't do that because there's a lot of 3ds games that don't have a lot of like auto save, yeah. and I can never tell when the 3ds is gonna die. Um and if I just leave it there and it's dead by the, tomorrow I'll be fucking pissed. Yeah usually I I just keep mine plugged in. Uh, that was a lot of good fucking GBA games they gave y'all too. Fusion, Donkey Mario yeah. vs Donkey Kong. I mean, I paid eighty dollars extra, so I better fucking get them. You know what was <laughs> bullshit? Were the people that were able to to, to still get it even though they get the hundred seventy? Yeah, they were able to like they get a like they saw that's, like that's, Walmart like price stole that. In my opinion, that's stealing. Walmart like priced it lower like a day before, and they were able to do yeah. both of those. Yeah, you um, stole that. That's not yours. If you have that, you're a fucking asshole. Anything else you play? Don't ever talk to me. Um... <laughs> I think I did. I played probably something else, but I don't remember, honestly. I bought Grifflands, and I was about to load it up, and I just didn't. Too many fucking games. Um, oh, I start, I'm start. i starting too many games. Uh, I am finishing some, so that's good. Um, but uh, I did start up... Uh, I wanted something on my uh, Switch to play, so I started up Fire Emblem again. Um, Hell yeah. I'm only like two hours in, though. I mean, I already, I, the first time playing, I got about seven, eight Point hours oh, in. Oh, so. oh, 0.001% of the game in. Yeah, I'm only... Uh, I, I picked my house. I picked, uh, I already forgot the, her name, the girl. Um, Edel Guards. Edel, yeah, Dingleberg's, or he said. Um, Dingleberg. Dingleberg. Yeah, I never liked Fairy Odd Parents, but I, or Fairly Odd Parents, excuse me. But um, that's always been a meme ever since I was a kid. Anyway. That's fair. Um, that's fair. You hated him. 
I get, I get it. I don't. I don't hate Fairly Odd Parents. I, I never liked it. You just so. hate a lot of things. Though. Again, like I'm saying, like you don't need to hate things if you don't like them. It's, no, that's not true. Like, hate is a very strong extreme. thing. I know on YouTube, there's only two things you could do, is and that's love or hate something. But uh, you can't actually think something's just okay. What do you think about David? Yeah. Oh, no, I hate fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a bastard! Uh, <laughs> what a bastard! Is that all you played? I saw your uh, I saw your picture, by the way, of uh, the uh, of, of the new the shelf case. Pack. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know what's going on with that middle one. That I don't think that's a good place for it. I'm just saying. No, but, uh, that's, uh, that I one know. was falling apart the moment I built it. So that's also part of the reason why I got that. Where did you uh, get that from? Dollar store? The fuck? No, I just am shitty at building things. That's why I'm marrying someone that's good at this shit. Oh, that's why. Wow. I hope she's not listening and she heard that. That's no, the only reason why he's marrying you. You could build a bookcase for him. To build things for me. He said it. Build meals. <laughs> build meals, yeah. <laughs> no, I do all the cooking. Build sex. <laughs> like, that's how you do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've never encountered sex before, so I don't know. I assume it's like um, Legos. But why do you have stuff on it though? Like that's not obviously where you're gonna leave it because that's in the way of your door. No, I get, actually, just, I just no, I hope it's, it's like Boeing. that. I, I I just noticed it's Boeing, like in the yeah, movie. It's, like, it's like like lots of multiple places. But yeah, uh, are you sure that's not no. gonna break? Put more on it. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's been like that since I got it, so it's just <laughs> you never knew because you had that shelf that's also Boeing uh, uh, to balance it out a bit. Right. Uh, but no, eventually those are gonna fully go into that shelf, and I'm gonna get. Things kind of organized. Just I want to get that one filled out as much. Dude, as at possible. this point, literally just build a wall of like a wall that's full, just a whole shelf. Build a yeah, wall. That's, that's gonna no be one my birthday get gift, uh, One year is eventually. Uh, just, yeah, because because you know, fuck all these different size shelves. Just like whole like one whole wall of the shelf. Yeah, uh, that's the end goal. That will just be one whole bookshelf. Hell yeah, Gore, you play anything else? Uh, no, I think that's it. I, I play a lot. I was in the game mood because you know the E3 game mood. Happened. Uh, Gamers, let's see. Gamers rise up. I did finish Man of Madan. Madan, I don't know what the fuck you call it. Man, it was, Man of Madan. It wasn't bad. Man I, of Madam. I kind of want to go through the, the curator's cut now because that that's the same story but with different characters and all different yeah all different uh uh dialogue and all that or do the shared story too. I don't know which I'll figure. I'll do one of them. Um, but uh yeah, it, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't a bad ride. Um. I booted up uh, Rain on Your Parade. That's on Game Pass right now. That's a fun little game. You're just a cloud, and you got different objectives to do. Like, uh, yeah, I I love it. It yeah you got to, like, rain on all the people and then, like, put all the fires or, like, get through the canyon not getting shot. It's, it, and there's, like, one really funny, uh, like, Metal Gear uh, level. It's pretty fun. Um, I think that's, like, all I pretty much played, though. I haven't really been able to play too, too much. And a little bit more Overwatch as usual. Uh, David, what'd you get this week? Hell yeah. So, for game, uh, actually, first, uh, the one bookish kind of thing pickup I got, uh, as I've been kind of working on my SMT collection, I got the uh, Strange Journey comic anthology, which is kind of neat. Hell yeah. Hell, hell yeah, yeah, man. Hell yeah. I like what was it? What was uh, Kel's, Kel's reaction to our. Uh... E3 coverage is like speed up the episode 0.5 for every time that you you, you hear a hell yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's shorter yeah. than the Bandai, Bandai presentation at the end of it. <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, got my very first Neo Geo CD game, which is kind of neat. I uh, got Samurai Showdown 2, basically. Uh, is that what it's called? Working on, managed to get that for only a couple bucks, and usually Neo Geo CD stuff is super fucking expensive, so I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll grab that for a couple bucks. Uh, I got for a, a lot of import stuff. Uh, managed to get this all as part of a lot, and I was super excited because I really only wanted it for a couple things. Uh, but I'm happy with everything I got in this lot. So the first part of it, uh, the PS2 version for Res. Oh yeah. Uh, randomly. Dot hack gu volume two. But it's in it's the Euro. Uh, it's the Japanese. Oh, save thing. <laughs> no, no, I can't play that. Uh, well, actually, I mean, I get the. Well, you won't be able to play it either way. Even but, if it came yeah. from Europe. Well, if it came from Europe, it's in English. I can play it that way. No, you can't. It wouldn't work yeah. on your PlayStation, right? 
Yeah, what did I have a soft modded PlayStation? Oh, I forgot you mod your shit. I was talking about like a yeah. normal human, but whatever. You're it's right. literally buying a memory card, slotting it in, and bam, you got a soft modded PlayStation. I'm not afraid anything about you. I'm looking at your broken ass fucking bookcase in the background <laughs> and waiting for it to snap in half. <laughs> yeah, uh, continue. Got the Tetris collection for PS2. Uh, kind of neat. Fuck is that box? That uh, huh? What is that box? Uh, Sega Ages. Uh, over in Japan, Sega has like a lot of like big collections and re-releases. They constantly do on different consoles. Uh, Saturn has a bunch of them. Dreamcast has some, and PlayStation Two has some. Uh, and it's just basically just like, hey, here's some of our releases throughout the years. And Hell yeah. Japan, Sega was a big uh, publisher for Tetris. Uh, this is one of the, uh, these two last ones here for my imports that I got uh, were the biggest reasons why I got this. Uh, with the first one being Front Mission Five, uh, so yeah. I have a legitimate disc to go with my fan translation, uh, one that I have ripped, uh, and of course because we always have to save our Mother Earth from any alien attack, uh, oh, the original PS2 release of Earth Defense Force Two. Fuck yeah. Which, if you played it, or if you've seen the Vita one, that is this game. So you literally, yes, are playing an HD version uh, PS2 game. Hell yeah. That's never happened before. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, then, uh, just a couple other random oddities I got here and there. Uh, for Shock 2, just so I could have that complete in box again. Uh, that was like $2. Can't go wrong there. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, this one I got because I, I wanted to actually build out my library genuinely just with some weird shit. Uh, Metropolis Mania. Oh, no. Uh, it's basically Natsume's attempt at doing, like, a Sim City, uh, yeah, which I thought was kind of interesting. Oh, it's you garbage. played it? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I really didn't like it. When I, was, when I was a kid, I really... I played that and the second one. The second one sucks worse. Oh, it sucks. It's, you know, it has a cool animation. You have a little guy, and whenever you want to draw a street or whatever, he actually, like, draws... Like, he has, like, a piece of chalk, and he, like, draws the street out while walking. Oh. So he's just, like, dragging it. That's the only thing I remember besides not liking it. It's kind of neat, though. I mean... I yeah, know it's a neat I, I animation. I want to give it a chance. I, I, I want to give it a chance at some point. I remember just not liking it. Maybe it's... Maybe you'll like it. Maybe it got better with age. <laughs> maybe it got better. Maybe. Uh, and I got my second Sega CD game now here, uh, Stellar Fire. Another one I mentioned okay. this just snack for a couple. Of, the box is fucked to hell. So I need a I'm kind of pissed that limited run did a limited run of fucking Sega CD boxes and then just pieced on out. I know it's in the name, but would like to find more to replace some of those with. Uh, and then lastly, finally got one thing in from Limited Run Games, uh, which speaking of which, we will be doing this for Games Gone By. Uh, so go check that out, and that's oh, to the that? moon. Okay, yeah. I I got the collector's edition, so. Gotcha. Yeah, no, I didn't get the collector's editions for most of their stuff just because I'm tired of fucking waiting. I just want the game. So unless I really want the stuff, I've just got the regular ones now. All right. All right, and that is everything I got. Right. All right. So I got some stuff not from limited run games, but I got some stuff from special reserve games. From massive. Uh, run games i'm still waiting on something from them uh what oh i'm exactly. waiting on uh, mother record bleeds what mother the fuck did you just say bleeds? mother russia bleeds are you still waiting for that i got that months ago yeah i'm still waiting on uh well i got it as part of their second like oh, hey, last okay. chance sale mm. okay i'm surprised you got anything for that fucking sale that sh that shit was a nightmare like, i tried to get uh the the hotline miami collection i think and yeah. i was on there fucking five minutes before they went up um and immediately when the site the store sale went on the fucking site was destroyed like you couldn't even load it and by the time i was able to load it everything was sold out yeah that happened. besides, I, was besides to I think that too yeah but speaking of hotline miami uh i did get their ps4 versions of hotline miami so i got the Hell first yeah. one and i got the second one i actually completely forgot i ordered these so, and I got a pretty low number. I got a 51 of a thousand nice. for both of them. So cool. They also came with like these like nice little, uh, not glass, but it's like made out of like a nice, uh, material, like art print. Yeah. Like, whatever. It's just the front covers except nice. Uh, I also got this. I, I also forgot that I ordered this. 
Uh, Crossing Souls. This is like a nice box. Oh, I heard, I heard this about game's that, yeah. Fun. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard this game's fun, and it looked like it'd be up my alley, so I bought it. Uh, it also came with this fun little, like, replica laser gun thing. So, That's kind of neat. Cool. And uh, it came in the box. Like, that, it was only thirty four ninety nine, I think, so, yeah. Hey, Limited Run doesn't do that shit. They give you a card. That's about it. <clears throat> they give you the game and the card for the same price. Yep. Hey, special reserve. Uh, I picked up a copy of Castlevania Season 1. I didn't have it before, um, but it's starting to get hard to find some of the Blu-rays, so... Yeah, I gotta track yeah. down the second season at some point. Yeah. Uh, I, this was 10 bucks at, at Best Buy, and I already have a steelbook of this movie, but I was like, this is a different one, um, so I'm getting it, and this is Ghost in a Shell. Good shit. One of my, one of my oh, yeah. favorite animes. Don't watch it in the English dub, though. I like the English dub. Uh, I like everybody in it besides who voices the major. I thought she was extremely. Really? I thought she was terrible. <laughs> like, the, like I rewatched it again before that fucking the shitty live action movie came out a few years ago, and I was like, oh my god, like she's like everybody else is great, and she's I I thought she was terrible, and I, I guess she's she supposed to be a fine. robot, but so other char- so many other characters are supposed to be robotic, and they still like just wipe the floor with her when it comes to acting. I mean, um, she's not as great as standalone complexes uh, voice actress for the major, but yeah, I still need to watch that. I I watched it when I was a kid, but I never finished it. So standalone um, complex holds up really. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I yeah. got Ratchet and Clank. Like I said, yeah, I got Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, David, I forgot to mention, I did play this uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Hell yeah! How you like it? Uh, it's pretty good. I like uh, I like I know. You know what? It's pretty fun. <laughs> fun game so far um i also picked this up i actually sold my ps4 copy and i got a pretty good deal on this on ebay so i was like fuck it i'm gonna spend 20 bucks anyway to get the episode so i got the final fantasy 7 remake integrade how much you sell for um so for 35 and then i got this for 53 so like an extra 20 bucks right there um uh, someone was selling like they had like a lot of them which was a little weird um but whatever and they uh well, he wanted 60 for each and i was like hey you do 50 he's like no and we're mm-hmm. like do you do 53 and he's like yeah <laughs> it was free shipping so i'm like yeah. all right Hell yeah. i have no so, doubt in like a year they'll be like 30 bucks max so yeah sure I'll but like i want to play out. the episode too so do you have the ps4 copy still yeah then why don't you just buy the dlc at that point i mean that's all you that's need what i'm gonna do but then i oh, okay it. i i want the ps5 box probably at some point Right. They've already confirmed that sadly the DLC is not on the disc, so that doesn't matter anyways. But right, all right, that's it. Okay. Yeah. That wait, did I show my cabal? No. No. Shit, I need to show my cabal. His balls. Show these cabal. Hell yeah. That's a cabal. All right, I'm done. All right. I'm done. Let's see. I got a lot of shit. Hell yeah. Uh, digitally, I bought a lot too. I'm not going to go over it, but I know I bought uh, stuff like Grifflands, uh, the Fire Emblem DLC, stuff like that. Let's see. Let me sort through some of this stuff. I think, Gore, you showed this off last week, right? What? You got a Garage Builder? Yeah. I No, no, I didn't. I got it too. I got that. Wait, hold on. Let me show it. you who even is you that's not it no this is coffee talk coffee i had to move it because i had to move it because it's in front of my collection and i can't fucking see anything because i have too much shit time to sell it where, 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 no, i don't want it i want it <laughs> i don't, don't want to grow up I'm all right well gore lied he doesn't own the game not here he's lying there it is hell yeah game builder garage I need to grab that at some point. I did play that too. I forgot. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's you pretty make? good. I played a lot of shit actually. I guess the extra couple days in between uh, our last blue rupees. Yeah. Uh, Before I I show anything else off, I did get this. I got that mixed for uh, sound only vinyl. Yeah, I like what? that that backside. Half dome burgers. Yeah. Oh bangers. Bangers. Oh, burgers. Burgers. Bangers. Burgers uh, and bangers. Went to the game shop today, 
I saw this, had to grab that. Magic Party Baby it was only two dollars. Why not? Classic. Classic. It's a classic. That's a classic. That's a, cla uh, that's all, a banger. All that's these games got delisted, so I'm I'm looking to grab them all now if I can. So one of them need for speed shift. Yep. Got that. Let's see. Um talked about this on the reaction. I was at the game shop a little earlier this week. I got Advanced Wars Dual Strike I had a twenty five dollar off code or a coupon Hell there. Yeah. Use that. Hell yeah. Uh Good the reason game. why I went there though was because I got a notification that they got some games I've been looking for in stock. Uh we mentioned this on the, the stream too. I didn't say I got them though, but I got both the Golden Suns. Yeah. Those are good. Games. I got the first one in box. Uh oh, I don't have mine in box, I just got it loose. I got I have it. I finally got this game, only spent eight dollars on it after a twenty dollar game by uh coupon. I need to play it. We're all waiting for it. I got Bow on Wonder World. Oh yeah. Eight dollars can't go the wrong with that. The legend. Yeah. Eight dollars. Well, it wasn't that. technically eight because eight paid bucks. $10, Twenty dollar coupon. So eight bucks. Just saying. Now, see, this is the kind of lies that I don't fucking. I'm, I'm not. We don't with. endorse this kind of fraudulent <laughs> behavior. I, I fraudulent. We behavior. talked about this game for the last couple episodes, including earlier right now. Uh, I'm gonna go against the grain on David's uh, advice. So I'm gonna just do it on Switch. I'm getting Nocturne on Switch. Oh, Specific. Don't. I have actually I I read other people say that it actually wasn't that bad. Aaron was okay. Yeah, I actually I read people say that but it wasn't I, that I, bad. Actually, I almost want to say. Let me go on Metacritic. I think the reviews are higher on the Switch version. Yeah, I heard that. Essentially, it's it's pretty much on par with PS4. You're just getting better graphics on PS4. And if it's that point, I'm not. I'd rather not sit in front of my PlayStation 4 for a hundred hours. Uh, also, also, my, my primary reason for doing that is since I'm going to be playing SMT5 on the Switch, I might as well get used to playing an SMT on Switch at all. Fair. All right. Before you start that, let the me same, know brother. so I can give you some, just without spoiling, just some general tips that will make your life a little bit better. Just do it. Uh, send it to me on can, Facebook because I... play Persona 4. <laughs> but send it me on Facebook because I might end up booting it up if I am have downtime on my trip. I right, do perfect. think... That's not even a joke, though. You should probably play Persona 4 first. Like, come on. Probably. Persona 4 will be a terror. Well, actually, because of the way the buff system's working now with the new one, Persona 4 might actually be a little bit closer. But. Okay. Uh, I wasn't saying because it's closely. Right? I... You want to play Persona 4 for way, like a way longer, I'd assume. So. Yeah, probably. Um, if you're in the mood for a game like that, then you should. No, I'm, doing this, I'm doing this on the Switch, though. And whereas the Persona 4 Golden. Well, you love the Vita. Um, I have it on Steam now, though, too, so I even stream it. Oh, fuck uh, that. Anyway, I, I, I showed you guys today. Let me show this picture if I can on stream. Uh, the game shop got a massive fucking haul of games in today. Like, yeah. like I, I saw, I peeked around. Yeah. I was, I was going to leave. I was like, all right, I picked up a couple games, but I'm going to leave. Uh, in fact, I picked up Harry Potter Connect because uh, it's, it's one of the more rare Connect games, which is not really saying much, but more valuable i should say um but i put it back because uh as i was about to leave i look behind i see a copy of rule of rose there i'm like oh brother you didn't tell me you got a big ps or playstation hall and or a slash PlayStation all on dreamcast hall i guess one with one please one dreamcast game he's like yes you did you want to look at it i'm like i don't want to but i'm going to say yes so this was the the hall that they had let's see if i can you Why can kind of bring it up on here uh, cause it's gonna, I'd have to save the picture and pull it up there. Actually, uh, I, I could probably, I could probably. Did, did, did you put it up on the Facebook? I let me, let me see if I can do that out really quick. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, occasionally they get, they get, uh, random fucking huge trade-ins. And usually it's pe people that are one of three things. One, they like hit a big emergency, so they just need a lot of money. Uh, two, they have a kid and they're like, all right, well, I got to start putting some money towards that living thing. So I'm going to uh, start getting rid of my uh, of my games. Or, That's why kids suck. Don't have kids. <laughs> Keep your Silent Hill games. Right. Or they uh, have uh, like this one was, which was uh, the dude just got kind of he's over collecting and uh, he liked the game shop a lot. Part of the community He's like, let me help the, the, the store out. So took it to uh, the game shop and he wanted cash and uh let me read this list off if you're an audio listener there it's uh okay. I'll, I'll tell you ill bleed uh clock tower 2 clock tower 3 silent hill 2 greatest hits silent hill 3 haunting ground rule of rose silent hill 1 uh could, is that how, how you say Kodelica. it Kodelica, and then kuon 
How much do you think like he spent probably like you, you figure like a, a, a second hand shop? Because you know obviously they're not paying full price for these. For all of it, all together? Cash and remember it's 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 they gotta make money off of it, so it's not it's you're not it's, it's severely undercut to what you can sell if you sold it individually. Obviously. I know, I know. Oh, I know. Probably, if I were to severely undercut, probably like a grand. Yeah, that's what, I was gonna say twelve hundred. A little bit more. Fifteen hundred. Seventeen fifty. So two thousand? Eighteen. Eighteen hundred for that. Damn. Yeah, right. which is that's not bad. Yeah. If, you're, if you're looking to get rid of it that's, and avoid good. avoid eBay fees and not have yeah. to deal with not have to deal with taxes if you sell a bunch of your shit. No, uh, that's not that's not bad. I'm not gonna shit on the, their store, but I will say like it's not hard to ship. No, these. no, no, no. And, no, and, but I, and and selling Rule of Rose and Kuan to, you would to get alone is about fifteen hundred right there. Yeah, uh, yeah and, I was like, uh, and like I know I know the, the about fifteen percent that eBay takes out and then shipping. You're not getting that much. And that potentially you taxes get, if you're 13. having to pay for that, depending on how much sure. you sold. But again, the the, the yeah, the, it's, the, the, it's the pawn stars rule. Like, uh, you know, I got frame it. And, yeah, and and the uh, and the I might drop it. The other yeah. side of it too is, like I said, the reason why I did this is because he's been part of the community. He knows John. John's uh, the guy who runs the shop. Super yeah. fucking awesome dude. So he's like, I'll help him out because I know this shit's gonna fucking fly off the shelf. Uh, yeah. So I and bought. Some of these are actually kind of going down in price. So I, I bought one of them. I had to. Uh, I was gonna say haunting ground. What do you think I got, David? Uh, Silent Hill. Silent Hill. I, I have Silent Hill. That'd be better. Oh, you already have. I have Silent Hill. Yes. You got, you got. I'm gonna say clock. I know. I'm gonna say what I said. It's haunting ground. What do you say, David? If I told you I had Silent Hill, what do you think I got? You know, if it's like clock tower, that'd be kind of right, though. Uh, I can't. You. I think you already have the other two. I hope there. you didn't get clock tower two. I think you got clock tower three. I got clock tower two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think, I, yeah, that game's fucking terrible. It is, <laughs> but I have I have Clock Tower three already, so I wanted yeah. Clock Tower two, and then I have Clock right. Tower one's the it's not cheaper really of the two. Tower two though, right? What do you mean? No, I don't think I know. It's called Clock Tower two, but it's not actually technically Clock Tower no, two. No, it's right? technically a spinoff Ghost Town. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I like it. Because the Clock Tower one on PS one is technically two, right? Yeah. So, and then the SNES game, of course, is Clock Tower. 1. I mentioned this. I forget what episode it was. I got Clock Tower three, which Clock uh, Tower three is okay. That game fucking shot up. I got that game for I think sixty yeah. bucks when I like sometime like however many months ago, and that is two fifty now. Uh, Wait, but what game? Clock Tower two, two okay. or three, three, three. Sorry, uh, three. I, I think three is three selling like pretty high for whatever reason now. Uh, and Clock Tower two sells incredibly high if it has a registration card on it. Uh, it this one didn't, but that's okay. I'm gonna fuck up with the registration card. I would never. Um, but yeah, I got Clock Tower two because I mentioned when I got Clock Tower three, I was like, okay, well now that'd be kind of nice to have all the Clock Tower games, I guess, just to complete the mini collection. And uh, now I currently have three PS one games in my whole collection: Silent Hill one, Ghost in the Shell, and Clock Tower two. So that's a well, <laughs> yeah. you got at least one good game in there. Yeah, uh, but it's a it's a very valuable three games I got, I guess. Yeah. How much, wait, how much did you pay for Clock Tower 2? 250 which uh, it comes okay. after that. Then I get a $25 discount code because you spend 250 you get You can redeem those points for 25 off. Right. Uh, okay. That was an impulse buy that I was not ready for, especially because I'm leaving uh, the state for like a week and a half or two and, and tomorrow. How much were they selling Haunting Ground for? Uh, I don't know. I, everything on here was... How much do you think Kuan was going for? Probably seven, eight hundred. Seven hundred. 700 Actually, I think you said that it was. Yeah, uh, but I, that's how much I would price it around. There. I asked him, and I, I I asked if that was the most valuable game he's ever sold, and I think he said he had a sealed Castlevania Dracula, whatever. What's what's that? X Chronicles. Yeah, he had sealed Dracula X Chronicles uh, a while back for like a thousand dollars. I think he sold it. Isn't Dracula X Chronicles just a PSP game too? No, I, it, uh, it is on. They did a PSP, it's on PSP. release of it. But the, yeah, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, it was originally. I, I, I have uh, that. Super graphics game. Oh, that might have been it then. It was sealed, uh, and uh, yeah, that thing. But uh, oh, I saw, you know, I saw that. Was the PSP game for I saw game. that. I'm like, my god, dude, what kind of fucking haul is this? And he's like, yeah, the dude came, dude came in last week, and I said I'd give it to him, but I, I, I couldn't. Uh, I guess there's like, a, I can only pay so much on PayPal or something right away. So he's like, we gotta wait for another day because I got, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta raise the right. the eighteen hundred to pay you cash right away. But uh. Yeah, that's a fucking that's a fucking haul right there, dude. Yeah, Clock Tower Two is a good one. 
I mean, it's a bad game, uh, yeah, but it's, it's a good a, one to have in the collection. Yeah, so now I just got... And I know Clock Tower it, 1's... It's, a, it's, a, it's an odd one. I, I think pretty much every rare game on PS2 is garbage, so, you know? Yeah, well, like, the, my, my two... Like the, only one, the only ones, that, like, valuable-wise that I guess you could say are rare that are good are, like, Def Jam, uh, Silent Hill, obviously. But, like, when it comes to rarest, like, Rule of Roses and Kuan are both pretty garbage. Um, yeah. So, Haunted Grounds... Okay, it's good for the most part. From what I played, um, it, it's a. I like Haunting Ground. It, it's a kind of spiritual it. successor to the. Clock uh, Tower. No, not Clock Tower. Uh, oh, the, I thought it was supposed to be like set in the same universe. How yeah, no, it, it was. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah haunting, like haunting Ground. Well, is. but what were you gonna say? You gonna say uh, what, what's that trap game? That's exactly what I. That's uh, right. The uh, Deception. Deception. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's what I thought you were gonna say. It probably is too. I, mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I would be surprised if it's in the same universe as Billy Hatcher too. <laughs> Fuck it. Put them all in the same shit. That's Sega, right? So, but I don't think uh, on Sega, right? I, I like collecting just the really weird shit now, because I don't. I don't really have a. I know. I like the weird shit too, man. That's why I, I have Blood Will Tell and like Echo. Well, Echo Night Beyond. I had. I I told I'm myself as soon as I started collecting, not really even collecting. I just have a couple like PS2 or or PS1 games. I was like, I'm gonna try to make sure this collection stays as rare as it can be. You know, like I'm mean, like the only the cheapest games I have on PS2 are like the Ace Combat games because that's the only way I can play those. So I was like, okay, well I have to kind of I have to do I have to deal with that there. But uh, right. if I can get them digitally, like they had Vagrant Story without the booklet. Uh, yeah, we talked about that. Um, yeah, I, was, I mean, if you want if if you wanted a good ass game for PS4, I, I, I would I, work and, I, and that was on, but that's digital for like seven bucks. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just I'll I never just, I never play Vagrant Story, but I've heard it's amazing. I heard so. it's really good too. Vagrant Story is phenomenal. Yeah, I never played it. So yeah, that that was a, I probably did when I was a kid, but I don't remember at all. And I know I definitely didn't finish it. <laughs> that's for sure. Fucking, that needs it. a goddamn re-release. That'd be so a fun bad. games gone by. Maybe we'll, we'll... yeah. All these games getting re-released. You got all the Madden games getting fucking re-released and shit. Why, why not Vagrant Story? You say Madden? Z yeah, Madden. The yeah. Madden. They're bringing back all the Madden RPGs from the past. No, oh, yeah. Ma Mana. Oh, Madden, yeah, the Mana, Mana series. Yeah, uh, they also brought back um uh Ch what the fuck was it called Saga. Uh, yeah, Saga Frontier, saga, saga? Uh, Unlimited. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unli well, the Saga series, and also um, yeah. they're bringing back. Uh, oh fuck! Or they brought back already the uh, Final Fantasy the one through six. No, I got physical. I got physical HD. It was Grandia. one to run. Grandia, thank you. Grandia, yeah, yeah. yeah no, fucking, where's my uh, Breath of Fire fucking remaster? Langri yeah, yeah, was, was it? Was it? Fire, too. Langrasser yeah, Langrasser Langrasser came back. Lang Fucking, Lane Grasser, is that we weirdly got GU, but we didn't get original fucking dot .hack. We need those. Well, now, the, the dot .hack, uh, was, like we talked about that one time where yeah, I saw all the dot .hack games there. I was like, oh, fuck, I want this just because that'd be a really nice just set to have. Yeah, dot .hack. Yeah. Um, but there's like four of the games there. Were, right? They had yeah, all four. four of the original dot .hack. I'm they had sure. all four there, and I was like, oh, that'd been just a nice swift, like, cool, got it, collection done right there. I mean, uh, the only one of them is really worth anything. But, yeah. Oh, yeah, they the should bring one. back Z Xenogears. Yeah, that's no, that's what I was gonna say <laughs> next. Gonna be the next one I was gonna say. That, that, that was what I was gonna say. Is that I want that? That's one of the games that I want on my collection. Is three with the fucking disc on. Oh there. no, it's not about just Xenogears. Not Xenosaga. Sorry, sorry, Saga. Yeah, that's what, that's yeah, what I want. No, I never I mean, played Xenosaga. Those should come back, honestly. Yeah, Xenosaga. I, I did. I ever tell you how how close I was to getting Xenosagas for like twenty five bucks? Yeah, and then the guy screwed what? you over. Yeah, some fucking. I had it for a day, like a whole day, and I was waiting for it to ship. And some fucking douchebag came in and fucking took it from me. And the the person I bought it from didn't tell me, like, like oh someone else. They just canceled my order and then like ghosted me. I was like, all right, cool. I I would have offered more. I wanted it. It would have been in my collection. I bet that dirty asshole resold it. Made money, dick. Well, I imagine. Actually, I can't. You, you, I, you, I, probably, I do that too. But. Probably sold. Did he tell you how much sold for it? Didn't say. No, they no, they ghosted me. As in, like, I like, so, hey, what, what happened so to the order? So it's possible they just said they spent like probably just as much as it was worth, maybe on it, maybe. No, they reposted it and then fucking someone else bought it. Mm. Like you'd see on OfferUp, someone reposted the same thing. They canceled mine, reposted the same yeah, thing. Yeah, but same price. They on their profile and it said no, it wasn't saying no. It, it, I think I don't think it tells you if it's sold already. Like I didn't see it. Oh, it, just, it, it just sold. sold. Okay, okay. I, I it probably did say. I don't remember how much though. I think it was probably way more if if it did. But um, I would have, I would like, and now it's like a three hundred dollar game. Back then it was like a hundred dollar game. Yeah, you can see. Kuan I really wanted right it there. too because I have the other two. Yeah, it's Kuan. That's the one I don't have that I really want. I'm like, I, I, like, I, I, want. I still the thing that just hurts my soul the most whenever I see these yeah, games. Yeah, get Rule of Rose. Is seeing, huh? 
Uh, they're gonna say you didn't buy that rule of rose that one time. No, oh, no, that too. I fucking I kicked yeah, myself. That too. It erupts, but as much as like in the moment we were laughing about how wild that was. In the moment, it was the beginning of, of a deal that was it was be. the beginning of a pandemic, and I was like, I probably shouldn't be spending one hundred eighty dollars in this game, so probably not. Should have fucking just did it. A fucking idiot. Yeah. But uh, no, my favorite thing that hurts me the most is seeing these games, and you see like a GameStop sticker like seven ninety nine or yeah. something on it. I said like, this. Oh, I've, yeah, so, yeah. I've seen Rule of Rose, <laughs> Haunting Ground, all the Silent Hill games, Kuan. I've seen all these games for years in my game stops for five ninety nine or nine ninety nine or fucking not even twenty bucks. And every time, because I'm a little pussy, I wouldn't buy them because <laughs> like, oh no, I want to play my games. I don't want to play those. It's scary. I've I've played some of these before, but I never wanted to keep them. <sighs> uh, the only one I kept was Echo Night Beyond. I don't know why, but that's the one I kept. From software, by the way, I forgot. That was and it's actually the only console I actually started like buying stuff on Xbox. Like nothing, nothing's really rare on there. Nothing too, too yeah. much. Uh, which is kind of yeah. nice, I guess. I can go back and play whatever. But man, like the the rarity stuff on this. Like I, I actually, uh, I was talking to them about this today when I was looking at these games. I was like, I have a picture because uh, if you're an employee there, every once in a while you'll take a picture of the the front case, which is the locked up case, which has all the valuable games in it, and you just take a right. picture for the for the uh, Facebook group to show anyone that's there. They they get interested to come in. I have a picture of it, and I saw Silent Hill two and three in the book in the picture that I have for twenty five bucks each. Yikes! Yep. I mean, who knew? Like, right? You didn't think about it back then. You're like, oh, just Silent Hill two and three, whatever. Like, doesn't ever. I, honestly, I was. I, I no, I didn't think it would go up as crazy as it did. But I'm I'm surprised it ever like those games were ever thirty or forty, like because yeah. those games you can, I mean you can get the shitty remasters, but like. Like those are classic games. Why the fuck they should always be two hundred dollars? They should. Be, they they should, they should be like Nintendo percent. style, where they just never really dip in price, but then they dip in price. Yeah, exactly. Like look, like, even the GameCube stuff, like the Paper Mario before pandemic was already still a sixty seventy dollar game. Which is like but, I remember yeah. back when you were watching, you were like, dang, that's really expensive, and now it's like, oof. yeah, exactly. I have um, no like, idea how good we had it until we lost. I'm, just, I'm glad I have every Silent Hill game though. That, that feels. I good. I got a fucking steal off that shit back then. Remember when I spent I spent like yeah I spent like three seven three sixty yeah like I just maybe it might have been like four hundred after like taxes and everything I think maybe or maybe yeah, just under probably. but I got like pretty much every Silent Hill except for one I think was on there. It was yeah I don't think I don't think one two I, like, I three think... four origins two three Shattered four memories. origins and Shadow Memories yep. On PS2, there was no one, but uh, yeah, that's a good dish. Out of memories is like a two hundred dollar game alone. And then one I got yeah. for a hundred bucks, like about a month a later, deal. I think. Yeah, which, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, like I, I and remember, I, that's when I was rebuying all my shit. Go back if if you dig through the old podcast, anyone just get interested, just dig through the what we played section. Like there's there's a little moment where because we were had a Skype call, we had a Skype call randomly because I dug out some old games and we we're just digging through them and we we're like, man, these games are getting kind of expensive. And then I saw that I was missing a lot of GameCube stuff. I was like, all right, well, let me just rebuild this collection right now and. I made a good call there because fucking a lot of those games have increased probably double since then, which is yeah, wild. They'll probably they, stay up there for a, a bit. I don't know if they'll really go. Like, they'll go down, but, like, not even, not not to the point where you'll remember it. Like, they are going to stay up to unless, where that is. Unless, no, they're, they're, they're unless. They'll still be inflated, but. Unless Konami comes out with some sweet-ass remasters. I, th- I think even then, sometimes the fucking originals. Like, I was looking uh, at. No, they announced that, hey, that, they announced that Dog and Rampa trilogy. And guess what? The fucking third game on Vita dropped down like a hundred bucks did it really said people were selling that, that shit for 300 did the ps4 one like, drop now i don't know i don't i have the vita one so that's why i looked up I'm right. i was like i never sell anyway i just want to know i'm curious like, now oh. if, if yeah, the I love those games but... ding and rampa trilogy you know i never play the third one i guess i could hate the third one there's a possibility from what i understand that was does the, the best like, story wise is different than the others right yeah, they, well, the first two, well, the first one and the second ones are different. I mean, they have similar things, obviously, like certain characters appear again, but for the most part, they're separate. Yeah, like you yeah, don't need to play like the, the first same one. Continuity, though, right? Yeah, but you don't exactly need to play the first one to play the second one if you don't gotcha. want to. I, I'm not 100 percent sure about the third one, though. I um, mean, I, I'm still gonna eventually at least try them. Um, yeah, you should. And we'll wait until the Switch version comes uh, out now. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, yeah. Just so I can all have the same experience across the board if I do end up liking them. I, I want to eventually try uh, Virtue's Less Reward, but man, I'm still... Eh. I I think it's a better game. I think if you're already unhappy with what it is, I don't think you're going to like it. Yeah. See how it goes. 
I don't think you're going to like it, especially since that one's longer. So it's probably more that's going to piss you off about it. Right. But uh, just don't even bother them. Man, these games. Anyway, yeah. let's, uh, let's jump at trivia. All right, oh, trivia. Yeah. It's going to be a long episode anyway. <sighs> we still got fucking... Yeah, yeah. All we, all we got to do is talk about Abandon after that. Uh, only? Oh, yeah, that's not, that's not going to take us like five minutes. All right. Yeah. I'm running out of paper. You got a new fucking notebook. All right. You are the paper. You are the honey glider or sugar glider or the fuck was. Okay. Yeah. This one. We'll do We'll do uh, two points on this episode to make up for... Uh, or do, should we do three? We should do three because we make up for last week's, which was E3. This one and then next week's, which is uh, the uh, Microsoft one, right? Yeah, so three points up for grabs. Three points up for grabs Fine. right now. Current right. score is David's at three, Gore's at eight. Oh, yeah. The closest it's been in years. <laughs> yeah, it's true. No, technically not. Because it was closer about two months ago when we reset. Uh, that's true. It's always it's always close when it starts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. First question. Handsome Jack appears in which video game? First appears in which video game? First appears. Handsome Jack first appears in which video game? All right, on three, gentlemen. One, two, three. Is indeed Borderlands 2. You both got it. Next question. In which game series might you play as Harry Tipper, Sergeant Cortez, or Giant Gingerbread Man? In which game series might you play as Harry Tipper, Sergeant Cortez, or Giant Gingerbread Man? sounds so familiar what the fuck is that sergeant cortez is the one that makes me that's <laughs> where I'm going to play yeah right not the giant gingerbread man because fuck sergeant cortez is the one that's I, I mean there's only so much hispanic representation in video games right? uh, uh, um, unfortunately uh, you're familiar what do you mean play the last fast and furious I think this is a Latino character. I don't remember. I, think. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I tried to I tried to wash it out of my head. As most whites do. Hey, yeah, if, if, that, by the time you're that watching this, that, that Fast and Furious is very much into like Latino culture. Like not it, like a lot of Latinos love Fast it's and Furious. Cause, it's because it's not that many Latino characters in it, really. There's yeah, only a couple. They, like, they Vin Diesel's white as fuck. They keep uh, it so re- they keep it relatively diverse on the whole cast. So if you look at the whole yeah, like, no. the spectrum, which is kind of nice. But yeah, the Latino the only culture, Latino characters, Hispanic, up Latino, jokes. like yeah, like every side of that, like cars just run deep in that. And anyway, uh, I, I honestly don't know. So I'm just gonna say this because it sounds like something weird. It's not gonna be this. So. All right, on three, one, two, three. Uh, second odds two or, ramp- or second odds two, uh, rampage. No, I got second odds. Yeah, it's actually time splitters. Uh, oh. Okay. 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 Doesn't doesn't sound familiar. Honestly. Right. Uh, this this next qu- not the one after this this next one's really fucking easy. Uh, this one though, in the Viva Pinata series, what is the name of the horse pinata species? I don't. Know. <laughs> it's uh. It's a funny little punny name. In the Viva Pinata series, what is the name of the horse pinata species? I'm trying to think of a pun. Uh... It's an it's like a name of a of a of a man, but it's got a funny horse pun in it. All right, well, that now I'm more confused. <laughs> it's a name of a man. I thought this was a horse. All right. Name of a well, man. I'm just going to make up my own terrible pun and hope for the best. All right. Uh, I don't have it. <laughs> I, I... You, you don't have the dad jokes. Terrible ones. There you go. All dad jokes All are right. terrible. All right, I'm ready. All right, on three. One, two, three. M- mariachi. Oh, horseman. <laughs> horseman. The, the name was actually Horstachio. 
pistachio. I like a pistachio? All right. I'm glad I didn't know that. Uh, I'm running out of paper, so I'm just going to write my next answer on the same <laughs> piece of paper. I'm just going to keep it small. All right. Here's a very easy one, boys. Released in 2017, which game was a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie and developed by former Rare employees? Released in 2017, which game was a spiritual successor to Banjo-Kazooie and was developed by former Rare employees? They were so hard to find. They're very rare. They're very rare employees. Okay. All right, ready on three. One, two, three. Ukulele is indeed correct. Moving on. I put, I put the hyphen, though. <laughs> I put the hyphen, too. Oh, did you? Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's really small. All right. Well, my, my hyphen's bigger, so do I get the point? No. no. Okay, right here. Oh. All right, uh, next question. Yep. In the dungeon-crawling game, The Binding of Isaac, what does know. Isaac use as his default projectile attack? Sorry. Oh, okay. Let me say it one more time. In the dungeon crawling game, I, The Binding of Isaac, what does Isaac use as his default projectile attack? I think we both know this one. Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Tears for Fears is indeed correct. All right. So we're, we're supposed to... Yeah. Three <laughs> points, though. I just want to just let everybody know this. All right. Next question. What is the tagline of the 2016 game Super Hot? Referencing the game's central mechanic and its innovative take on the first-person shooter genre. This one's a weird one. Um, this one's got a weird one. I don't really like this question, actually, looking at it. Actually, let's skip this one. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. because well, was the, it just super hot? The tagline is, quote, time moves only when you move. That, oh, that's a weird oh. tagline. I'm, I'm going to skip that one. Yeah. So that's not a good question. Uh, just give me one second. Oh, I was writing slow the fuck down. but uh... <laughs> Do you get one? <laughs> slow the fuck down. What is the professional? Uh, what is the profession of the playable mouse character Tilo in the 2018 game Ghost of a Tale? The fuck? I remember Ghost of a Tale, but I, I always confuse that with Moss. What is the profession of the playable mouse character Tilo in the 2018 game Ghost of a Tale? Well, uh, it could be either one or the other. Of what I'm about to write, I'm just gonna write this one. I'll leave this. And David's making up a joke answer, so let's see. One, two, uh, you know. one, two, three. Thief and ar alcohol. alcoholic. That's not how you spell it. Yeah, it's a uh, H where you're not supposed to put it. Uh, the, I don't know how to spell shit. The professional, the professional was... Is it adventurer? Minstrel. M-I-N-S-T-R-E-L. Oh, I'm glad I didn't get that right. Okay, next question. Nerd. What name did fans give the unnamed protagonist of the 2012 game Hotline Miami? What? Oh. What name did fans give the unnamed protagonist of the game of the 2012 game Hotline Miami? I don't remember. I remember hearing. I never. I didn't play. I. I, I it's funny. I just bought those games, but I, I never uh, <laughs> played Hotline Miami. Oh my god, because they're limited. Oh fuck! I remember hearing. Fuck! I'm just gonna say this. Bitch. I'm going to say this because it's the name of another unnamed character. David, okay. you ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. Claude and Stalin. The name that they gave yeah. him was actually Jacket. Oh, actually, yeah. I don't think I've ever heard that, honestly. The only reason I would know that is because that's the name of the Fall Guys uh, costume was Jacket. <clears throat> All right, next question. Which 2010 Xbox 360 game by Remedy is set in a small town of Bright Falls? Right. I think we're just going to both get this, too. David, oh, No, David. You, David. Don't know, you don't know what this is? Oh, okay. No. Hell yeah. In the 2010 Xbox 360 game made by Remedy Entertainment, that, what is it? Uh, what, which, sorry, let me repeat that. Which 2010 Xbox 360 game made by Remedy is set in a small mountain town of Bright Falls? Do you know who Remedy is? No. Don't don't you can't give hints. Yeah, yeah. We're already kind of deep in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised. This was the name of the town, but I'm just gonna. No, 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 not the name out. of the town. What's no, the game? Not the name of the town. The game. Which? Well, no, this that's what I'm trying to use as the hint to. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna. I don't think this was the name of the town, but I'm gonna write it down. Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're wrong, yeah, but it's okay.
I'm good, by the way. Yeah. All right. On three. One, two, three. Deadly Premonition is actually Alan Wake. All right. Uh, Alan, still, Deadly Premonition really was... Uh, Alan Wake. Deadly Premonition... You should play that. It's pretty good. Was... Oh, fuck. What was the town in Deadly Premonition? Don't tell me. Hold on. Fuck. It is, like... It's similar. It's a, obviously it's going for the Twin Peaks shit, but uh, yeah. Oh uh, fuck. It's similar. And Deddy Pre. I call like Sandy. So no. You ready for it? So we can move on. Yeah, let's go. Greenville. Right. Greenvale. For Gore. Greenville. Thank you. Greenville. I don't know why I said Sandy. All right. Next Sandy one. Cheeks. This is a, this is an easy one for Gore. I think. Oh, no. Dev David's not getting this one. What are the full names of the three right, playable yeah. characters in GTA Five? Uh, I'm not even think... bother writing anything down. I have no fucking idea. Let's skip this one. That's not fair. We got two no, other. We got, we got two other. Yeah, let's skip it. Just skip. Cole started Grand Theft Auto Five, and I didn't get anything beyond the first hour. So yeah, let's I skip it. Just skip the next it. next question. Okay, Michael DeSanta, Franklin Clinton, and Trevor, uh, Trevor Phillips. Phillips, yeah. For uh, that. Next question. In the indie game. Thomas was alone. Which large blue AI decides that she is a superhero when she discovers that she can swim? All right. Well, this sounds like a spoiler. I'll never play this game now. I'm gonna say. In the indie puzzle game renowned by Samuel the Geek, Thomas was alone. Which large blue AI decides that she is a superhero when she discovers that she can swim? I think this was her name. Oh, you know. This is bullshit. I've, I've, okay. uh, <laughs> I haven't finished it, but I played. Uh, I never played, played it. Alone. I played. I I couldn't remember this one. Ready? I, I didn't know that. Yeah. One, two, three. Emily Blue, Blue Box. Box. Oh, I get it. I was Claire. Oh, good. Okay. Claire Blue ne Box, man. It, it, it's been set up since Thomas was alone. Next question. By what name was the Sega Genesis known outside North America? By what name was the Sega Genesis known outside North America? Wait, shit. Oh, no, I'm confusing them now. Oh, no. Yeah, right, no. Fuck it. I probably got that wrong. Whatever. All right, on three. One, two, three. Mega Drive is indeed correct. Okay, I was gonna say second master system. Is that the other one? No, no, that was the eight bit console. Eight bit, yeah, that's one. Okay, right, so I got it. Right. There's an easy one. Halo was launched how? Halo Combat Evolved was launched on which console? The Dreamcast. Right, just three. You ready? Three, one, two, one. two <laughs> three. Xbox. Xbox. Yep. Yeah, we're hey, going. Xbox. There. All right, good. Next. This could be. Yeah. Which right, two? No, let's keep going. Which two popular point-and-click adventure game characters com comprise the Freelance Police? Which two popular point-and-click adventure characters comprise the Freelance Police? All right. On three, one, two, three. Sam and Max, moving on. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. We're gonna go through this entire box of cards. Probably. Oh my god, there's another one you guys know. Uh, the, Let's go! The player character in the 90, 1993 platformer game of the same name, Cool Spot, was a mascot for which soft drink brand? Oh, this one I might not know. I assume it's... The playable character in the 1993 platformer of the same, of the same name, Cool Spot, was a mascot for which soft drink brand? I don't remember, honestly. I know it was... Something, but I'm with, I'll just say the obvious one. Um, three. One, two, three. Seven up is indeed it. Yeah, David, up. you got that one. Uh, that's, that makes more sense. I'd say Pepsi because they fucking do video game shit all the time. All right. All right. Last point up for grabs, right, then we're done. moving on. With over 155 million units sold, which is the best selling home console of all time? Home with console, with okay. over 155 million units sold, which is the best-selling home console of all time? Abbreviated. All right. Ready on three. One, two, three. PS2. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Moving on. Moving right along. Uh, Moving on. After leaving LucasArts. 
which video game developer stu- or which video game studio did acclaimed developer Tim Schafer form in the year 2000? After leaving LucasArts, which video game developer or studio did the uh, acclaimed Damn. game developer Tim Schafer form in the year 2000? All right. On three. One, two, three. Double fine is indeed correct. Yep. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Uh, on oh which head? It's easy. Just skip it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll say it first. I know you guys are. All right, fine, fine. On which handheld console did the Pokemon games first appear in 1996? The Game Boy. Yeah. Game Bear. All right. Here's, I was gonna say. N64. Here's a here's a good one. Uh, let me take the, the the obvious one off this one. Which was the final home console released by Sega Dreamcast? Uh, here's the one that you guys are, are good with though. Which 2007 video game was released as a sequel to the 1992 film Hard Boiled? Stranglehold. Next. You probably wouldn't have gotten that, too. So. Yeah, but then we need to get a point. No, no I said Dorgan's it. point is fine. Okay. No, that's fine. No, no. Oh, that's it. I, knew, I know he wouldn't get that. There's no way, no. right? No, 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 I had no I feel bad. Idea. I only got a dumbass like me would know that. Next. All right. All right. One more. Let's see. All right. One no, more for fun, going. but Gore gets the point. So. Okay. Really? Okay. Yeah. No, I was gonna say go to the next one. That's why I, I said that out loud. Early models of which console were? Uh, this was easy. The Red Ring of Death was 360. All right, fine. Fuck it. I just get. All right, and the next one's gonna be a good one for. Uh, one All right, then, then... So yeah, oh, we'll, we'll move save on. it. Yeah, we'll save that one for for next week. All since... right, fine. I guess. Then, I guess. Final tally for today is David at four, Gore at ten. Moving. Well, on. actually, technically, it's called John Wu presents Stranglehold. So I'm wrong. So I guess we got. I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go back. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Back to the lab again. Let's do this uh, one story so we can uh, leave. If this is the only story you need. True. This is what I'm going to title the fucking podcast. Hell yeah. Let's see. Uh, this is big. And all right, so just to... It was phenomenal news. Ju- just in case people watch this podcast just for this news and they skip ahead, um, we recorded this. It says on the screen, but just in case they can't read. Um, there might be one person out there. Um, or you're listening to it, not looking yeah. at it. This is recorded a couple of days before they supposedly are going to show gameplay for this. Um, well, the the, the, the like, app comes out tomorrow, right? It comes out tomorrow, but they keep saying Tuesday. Gameplay on Tuesday. Gameplay. Yeah. Yeah. So. so presumably by the time this gets posted, which is going to be a couple of days after the gameplay reveal, all the stuff that you're listening to right now is outdated, which is okay. But it's yeah, fun to at least see fine. what this we were. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. Gore did a fun. video on this too. Go check that out. We uh we're gonna go through the rabbit hole here of abandoned. Yep. We talked about this a little bit. Uh, I think we talked about this actually on the E3 Starting one, the next week one too. Yeah. I think we started. I started it off by mentioning it because I was getting hyped. Yeah. So essentially, what we got here is uh, <laughs> where it looks like we're going down that Kojima rabbit hole again, where uh, yep. Phantom Mobile Pain Big Studios and PT. 70, 780. Is this man about yeah. to do a third time in a row? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe this one will come out. <laughs> <laughs> Fan pain did not come out. Yeah. Uh, so let's go down this rabbit hole. So first off, we got, it didn't fully come out. So the thing is, Blue Box Studio, their studio that has had projects before, which is the main, the biggest wrench in all this stuff, is that Blue Box Studio. But they've had garbage though. They've Have had garbage, seen? but that's not that's that's such a wrench in the plan. Like, really, they're gonna no, no, because they were like games that you could probably crank out in like no time, and and the one game I watched. Was like one of those games that looks like you could make it in a game jam. But they have um, a they have a fellow Kickstarter too though, which where it, was the Kickstarter? Uh, let's see. Let me let me pull this up. Uh, Gore, explain stuff all this while I while I find this link then. Explain what the thing that's so, what, what's going right? on? Yeah, what what's the beginning of this? What we're talking about? It was a shitty beat him up spinoff of the Sacred series. Yeah, Sacred Citadel was garbage. Um, I never actually played it, but uh, anyway, uh, well, Blue Box Game Studios. Uh, revealed a game a couple months ago on PlayStation's uh, YouTube. So it was very weird that PlayStation would be like, yeah, um, put your game on here. We'll even put like the logo in front of it and and, and at the end of it. And it's going to be it's going to be exclusive to only PS5. It says it in the trailer. And all it is is some really shitty narration, um, like really bad um, over um, just like this random footage of someone walking through a forest which the forest looks pretty good i know some people are saying it looks like shit i think they're just saying it looks like shit because the narration is really weird um 
Which is definitely a, a Kojima thing to do. Okay, so that's it. So, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll explain this and we'll go through this in a second. So, so Blue Box Game Studios announced this game a couple months ago. It's supposed to come out this year, it said, at the end of that trailer, which I don't know. Um, and uh, they said they have more to show and supposedly we're going to have something to show recently, but or soon. Um, and I don't even know where the rumors really started from. Rumors? Like, I think it was just because that trailer came out and it, ha- it had a weird feel. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? And then people just started to really dig deep. Like, what the fuck is abandoned? Like, yeah. So the, the, here's the problem, though, is that people were like, "Oh, this is featured on PlayStation's thing." Sony has had yeah. has had yeah. uh, uh, trailers of really shitty games. Oh yeah, Life of Black Tiger. Yeah, that, that was the number one that people like went to. But I don't think Life of Black Ta- Black Tiger had like PS4 exclusive. Like it did, and and also has their like their watermark on it. I, I don't. It was on there was though, which is on. something. But but either way. The people were speculating initially because like, all right, this is kind of weird. This looks really good too. Like, not not like not not frame rate sucks, nice. but but graphically it looks no. fucking like real. Uh, if this is actually indie, then it's impressive. Yeah, and then there, the, this guy has said this had seven studios backing him, which is like, what the fuck? Like, why why would an independent studio which has no track record aside from really shitty apps done that? So that means let, let's let's go here first. Let, let let's let's look at the bad stuff before be the good stuff. If, if- it would be amazing if this fucking Kickstarter thing was fake too, and like Hideo made it made it so that it failed. Yeah, but if it if it worked, that would have been such a fucking weird. Like that would have been such a clusterfuck of a of a issue right there. Well, not if it, it was like wait, when did it start? And when did it end? Well, keep in mind it was also canceled, so they stopped. So it. well, here here's the thing. L- read this. So this here first off, but let's let's even forget about that for a second. They have a tracker. It's not just a fucking like seven seven eighty studios popped out of nowhere. A first time developer, everyone's like, okay, that's that's fishy, you know. Moby Dick Studios, no one heard of them. This developer has stuff on there. Now you can go both ways and get conspiracy with it, where this developer had it, and as this Reddit post said by, uh, I am not Paul Paulson. <laughs> he says, given that Blue Box Kickstarter game Rewind was fully funded by a secret investor. And the project vanished, leaving all BB games with a mysterious new studio called Create Q. That's what I was going to say. It's not unreasonable to assume Hideo paid off Blue Box and Hassan, took the identity, and moved them to Create Q. So yeah. it's, it's, it, it, and, and, and the fact that if Hideo can't do this three times in a row without people catching his bullshit, as it is, even if this is it, you know, people I know, caught, PT people caught did on it. Pretty it. Well. But, but that second time in a row, third time in a row, you know, it, it's kind of wild. So it wouldn't be out of my mind for Hideo to do something like, all right, well, they're going to know if I'm doing this three times in a row now. So I can, you know, you know, tinfoil hat on. Maybe I buy this developer that has nothing to it. We get a little weird with it and so on and so forth, you know. But that's that's a lot of effort for doing this, you know. Like the thing is with know, with man. the thing is with with PT and the Phantom Pain. Yeah. The 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 trailers itself and the the demo itself were still essentially parts of the game you know this one you're paying people for the mystery that overall is doesn't matter once the game's out you know for all intents and purposes oh. they can just announce like i mean yeah the, so hear me out they, they can say they can announce tomorrow hey they was doing silent hill or be like oh fuck that's crazy and you'll be you'll end up in the same spot i think doing the whole arg thing that's what that's what this money's going towards essentially if it's an arg which is which is kind of wild what what what, what? If you pay money to buy out a studio, it's not, I'm not even saying it's a lot of money, obviously. If it's some fucking one-off dude that just did some random bullshit, sure. But if you're paying off someone to do all this, you're paying for the ARG as opposed to sure. it, it, as opposed to like PT, which had it. But you're still getting players in, you know, at the base level, which is you have them play the game. This is part of the game's campaign. This is all stuff that's been leading up for ages, which means that they have been putting money into this for a while, and this is Konami we're thinking of too, and they them putting money yeah, into fucking video yeah, games. It has to be Konami or or like Konami some for some reason let them use the Silent Hill or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, so what I'm yeah. saying is that Konami like, has something to do with it. Like I'm not saying that this is out of the realm of possibility, but this is such a a wild run through for you to make it happen it's possible but like you spent money in years for this and 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 yeah. like it's it's cool but i mean think about this if you spent money in years on this and people crack it in a day is that like can you convince konami of all people to spend money on that shit 
Well, obviously, yeah, because Konami's putting out all this shit now, merch and stuff, and they he followed Kon uh, Kojima. Sure, he but again, like, but I think I think if if he puts Silent Hill merch out, if 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 this didn't exist, if let's say Konami proper was making Silent Hill Five or whatever, you could still put the merch out, and it'll sell. You'll still get if you put. But you know, they haven't. They haven't for like years. They I don't think they've ever officially sold merch uh, since since Silent Hills got canceled. Sure, but um, what I'm saying is other it, places other places have, and I yeah. guess that's technically official because Konami let them. But Konami themselves, I don't think have ever. Well, not ever, but it has sold. No, no, no. I, like I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying Silent Hills happening. I think Silent Hills happening. Whether or not this is part of it or not, I don't know. But I know, uh, what, has to be part what of I'm it. saying is that. If Konami said we're making Silent Hill, they don't have to do any of this. And in my mind, knowing how Konami has been so fuck like really like anti like proper gaming and like pretty money stingy with stuff, to to sure. to to put in my head that that Kojima who already ha had a bad relationship with it's better now obviously because we're gonna look at something yeah. like this. But the creator of someone that really like led you guys because Konami was fucking hated and people were on Kojima's side 100 percent. To give that guy money, time to do all this when they even let him finish fucking Metal Gear Solid Five, and to give him money to do all this for years and develop this, and then just to get cracked and like you're doing it all for like yeah. a month of publicity, which is cool, but the game's not gonna come out in a People month. People will always remember this. If sure, this was the case. Yeah, uh, but that's cool. But no, the, everybody forget remembers PT. It's been seven years. No, but PT I mean, was an demo. experience. So that's what I'm saying. It's the demo that, that's that was what I'm a saying. playable this is, thing. This right now is an experience. <laughs> well, I'm does does, right does now. that ultimately affect what the sales of the game will be, though? You think? Uh, no. I, I mean, if you put Kojima's name on it, it will sell. So I don't. I, but I don't think. People are gonna buy it just because of the. That, that's what I'm saying, and I, I think you could other people to do it. Yeah, saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Hideo Kojima loves this stuff. He but if Konami, I know. But if, if if Konami wants to fucking make some money and learn that oh Kojima's name fucking makes money, I don't know why we forgot that. Um, then especially since I I understand Metal Gear Solid Five went over budget. A this, lot. There's no way in hell this ARG cost them over budget, especially buying out some shitty studio nobody knew. Um. It that doesn't cost them. I'm just curious if they even care to spend money on that at all. What I could see happening is that he bought the studio, like this said, they bought a studio and 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 just like he bought it just as a as a thing. Like he was already working on Death Stranding, so he just wanted the studio. So whenever he does do something else, he has the studio for whatever. You know, whatever ARG. Yeah, no, like I said, I, I can, I can see Hideo Kojima doing it. Sadly, we never it. got that. We never got that with Death Stranding. We never got an ARG. I bet, I bet if, if, yeah, if did. he we wasn't like partnered with, Konami. yeah, and I'll say if he wasn't partnered with Sony, there would have been an ARG thing for Death Stranding. Like Sony wanted to show it, obviously, at their press conference. So it was just like, just show it. Um, like I can't. But, like this is a totally Kojima thing to do. One hundred ninety thousand percent. I'm just curious if, if Konami's aboard, and that does make sense. Sure, if if Kojima did this on his own, like bought it on his own, said, you know what? That's what I think it is. Because he has, he's fucking. If he rich, said, let man. me let me do this, and I'll keep it in the back burner. If I'm gonna do something, I'll do That's something. My ne next project, I'll use this. Sure. Now consider the time and time and effort to put on this. The fucking the 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 thing that like that was fucking funny to me was the the trophy count on that dude being the exact yeah. thing for some but like imagine the time you had to do let me go look at that can we is that dude's profile open it is maybe he, maybe maybe kojima just bought like hey uh like maybe he was like looking at people and was like hey can i buy your account you have exactly the right amount of trophies i want <laughs> it's like uh it's it's insane so there to get is. there for, that's totally a fucking generic profile too I but think, right then they did like, they find out it was like a generic profile icon no, so they did use stock photo, photo for what was Joakim that uh, did uh, Phantom Pain. So when they right. did find that, that was uh, that was stock that was photos or something like that, or or, or photos. PS5. But but like, someone had to go in and and get four platinums. I, and I'm curious. I can can we see this guy's like actual? I'm gonna go look it up really quick on this other one. Sneaky Warrior with extra Sneak, Sneaky. His name's Sneaky. <laughs> I, I, it, this is the biggest kawinky thing in the existence of human mankind. <laughs> it's like, if this isn't anything, it's just some shitty indie game. Okay. They play uh, well, Turok. I, I, I'm so confused what I'm looking this at. Is right. like, this is PSN profile. This is, this I know, is but where am I? Uh, oh, no, it has one extra uh, trophy now, doesn't it? Wasn't it 1238? Uh, it was. Oh, yeah, so, oh, that's over. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Dream is dead. He, he really wanted to play Turok. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, fuck it, I'm playing Turok. Turok, he played Village. Uh, didn't really care wait, for God wait. of War. Go to, go, just humor me. Go to Turok. It, it, click it, and, and then show me what the last trophy was. Discover all secret. Oh, the last one. Uh, the last one he, he earned. Here, right there. I, I just saw it. What is it? Swift and deadly. Uh-oh. Oh, this, 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 this reveal is coming in swift. <laughs> And deadly. I was hoping it'd say, it would say like silence or something, <laughs> which I guess that is kind of swift and deadly. You he swift, he killed. He killed this whole thing with that one trophy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, swift and deadly. There you go. But I'm, I'm just curious. I'm just kind of so he didn't like God of War. <laughs> he got two trophies yeah. in there. He liked Detroit. There you go, David. Yeah, I love that game. Uh, Ray likes. Oh, he, lo- he loves the shit out of Siege. Look yeah, that. look at that shit. Jesus Christ. My cousin has all the trophies. Uh, no dreams. Doesn't like any of these. Games. <laughs> no dreams. Astro's Damn. Playroom. Damn. Oh, look at all this shit. So many things he didn't play. F F F F F E E E F F F F F. But see, I, this, is, this is not like a. This is not a profile of someone that was like actively trying to do shit. You know, like this is an actual right. profile. That's Vanish, why I think he really he likes the bashing of Ethan Carter. But even then, you could, yeah. if you buy it, well, like it still, it didn't apparently. even, it didn't even line up with anything though. You know, it's like now it officially. Sure. But this it, one, this one might just be a coinky thing. Yeah, no, it definitely like that, was. That, that one commercial was just like whatever. It definitely was. Um, anyway, go, go back to the other points though, because every almost every other point has way more. So okay, so that that was the one that started it all. And first off. You don't make this. This, this, this is, is this is this yeah, is so. You don't make this tweet. This, this is, is weird. This is so on the nose that feels not okay. And then, right. then, then the backtracking behind it, like we didn't actually mean that. We didn't mean like why well, you up. It's like excuse it, me, I like it, I could see it being run by somebody else. And I mean, even Hideo's like, no, don't, 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 don't. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, like, but don't don't backtrack. I just leave it there. I guess. I mean, it just it feels it feels weird that they've like double they've they backtracked and said this shit, which is weird. I would um, love if it comes out and it's, it, it, it does start with S and ends with L, but it's something completely fucking different. Super Smash Bros. Like Brawl. That. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's like Sacred Ball. Uh, Sacred Ball. Super Monkey Ball? Super Monkey Ball. There you go. Uh, we already know that they, they've done that twice. Uh, the short teaser... Yeah, this this thing's interesting. The Silent Hill Composer teased a new game reveal for 2021. Also teased a new game for 2021, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Denies or moving interview. Konami denying something. No surprise there. Yeah, we don't need to read this. Like I do remember that him saying this something. Interview with Akira Yamioka. I think it's going to be one you're hoping to hear about. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> it's everybody's fucking around. Come on. Everybody's fucking around? Nah. It's even called abandoned too. Come on now. Uh, it's like the fuck the series has been abandoned. Come on. We know about yeah, this anime. that that so first so first off, this this logo is the inverse of what Blue yeah, Box uses. It, yeah, and then it was a blue box yeah, right there. A, it's just a blue box, yeah. I, so we got it was the, also there's also somewhere at the end you see the, the the square the square logo. Not at the end of this, but the end of the trailer is also a blue box, technically. The, trailer uh, for the, the, the blue box picture I thought was that's a stretch. Yeah, that one's that one's a stretch. But I will say uh, the other tweet he said where he's like he was like oh yeah I, I was re- is yeah it, it's, silent it's, and it. yeah right there come on now <laughs> that is totally a Kojima it's thing. It's funny because I think the I, silent wife and I read this Joe Hill thing. <laughs> I said I, I think I commented on this too or I not I didn't comment I think I like I said just I shared it or something because I was like hell yeah he's in a Joe Hill because that's a pretty good book right there. Yeah, I mean he's big into books, obviously. So. Yeah, and then uh, let's see. Uh, Silent Hill fans die in peace. <laughs> yeah. Silent Hill merchandise, which we'll get to there at the end. Uh, yeah. No save trademarks for Blue Game Studios, but they claim they do. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yep. Oh wait, no big blue box. <laughs> no nope, big blue box. That's uh, that's for the next Silent Hill game. Yeah. The, the next one after this one. Um. Blue Box Game Studios YouTube banner is a bunch of hills, technically mountains, but sure. And I do, I do like the fog though. Those are mountains. Come on. The the fog there is is at least. Something. I guess you could count them as hills, right? The the fog is what kind of gets me there though. Yeah, yeah. Everything does line up with 2015, which okay. So here's the thing too. 
2015 does line up with how Silent Hills was supposed to be kind of moving along. Yeah, because that's when it was canceled. Was 2015, yeah. Right. So you so. can imagine that there's a small potential that something of this was supposed to be there and then just got moved over to this. Uh, Blue box, do you turn for phone scams? Is that true? I'm gonna I'm gonna go look into that. Uh, sometimes uh, that one that one, that one's a little weird. Uh, Blue box phone put phone wait right there. It says Blue Box up and consisted of a set of audio us yeah. whatever a telephone keypad. Yeah, it's different telephone hacking. Right yeah, there. It says right. Okay, there you go. That's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, it's for like. Yeah, but I bet our government used that. Employees that company. Uh, this is interesting. Employees at company shit. LinkedIn use stock photos. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Or Let's LinkedIn. See. I've uh, never been on LinkedIn. No, look up LinkedIn. Blue Box <laughs> Studios. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Lichen. Lichen. Oh, uh, yeah, let me. In. Yeah, let me see. I can log into mine. Okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'll read. Jeff Keeley follows Studio on Twitter slash Instagram. Jeff Keeley confirms it's in talk with Blue Box and will help them. Uh, with promoting their game. Uh, at the abandoned trailer at 49 seconds mark, the letters P and T are covered by the trees. So I'll cover that in a second. It's, I do, more, it's, it, it's more T and P, to be fair. I do want to also mention while I'm on this is that uh, I think Healy's involvement is actually kind of weird. It is really? a little weird. Uh, yeah, because cause he does do things with little developers, but he has a history of helping them like he did with Phantom Pain. He did help, he did help yep. uh, Kojima with that. Also, in general, just how much he knows and all this stuff. And, and and if you watch that video of him, like, talking about it, he acts very interestingly. Um, he, yeah, he like does. He looks like he's lying. Like, the way he... Also, is... did you, also I rewatched watched him talking to Kojima during the Summer Game Fest thing. Uh-huh. Like, him, like, uh, like what what can we expect? If he, just the way he was, like, wording things was, like... And the way he was acting was, like, he already knows what's up next. Um, so, well, maybe we'll look at that in a second. Um, let's see. Now let me go to Blue Box Studios. Uh, now I'll pull uh, up the link. I'll pull up the Jeff Keeley video too. Yeah. Um. The the one where he addressed like uh, he also made a tweet earlier today, uh, about like I'm wait. I'm. He said um, oh god, can we go to that tweet? That one's so good. Where he's just like, people are asking like, what's going on with Abandon? He's just like, I'm waiting for Hassan to message me. But he said uh, um. He's, 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 keeping, he's keeping me waiting or something, which is a quote from Metal Gear Solid 5. So, so yeah. honored to have the opportunity to share. No, that's not uh, it. Uh, no, it's uh, it. I tried to find it, too, um, by going down here. I I've, think I did that there in the video. So I got an uh, oh, well, I suck. So, so here's, here's an interesting this. one. And this is this is kind of... I'm like, I can't do full screen on the the uh, podcast. Listen to Just this. Listen, listen right. to, so let me, let me point out a couple things. He says email, but slips and, and switches it to DM. Mm-hmm. And then look at his eyes when he says all this stuff. Just keep an eye on his eyes. All right. Regular DSP over here. Everyone asked me about this. And actually, I got a uh, DM out of the blue from Hassan right. um, a little while ago asking if I wanted to sort of help them reveal the game um, over the mm-hmm. summer. So stay tuned. But I think there will be more to share uh, on this title. I'm very interested. In, I don't honestly know a lot about it, but um, Hassan has been really eager, I think, to, to share more with you um, in the coming months. Hassan. So uh, yeah, stay tuned to my Twitter. I think there is uh, there's more to share on that game soon. And you don't anything. Just that smug ass grin tells well, you everything you yeah. fucking need that to know. he looks Hassan. away every time he says every time he says Hassan, he like he looks, looks away, away, which which yeah. is is I've looked into some of like I've, I've, I was really? trying to do like psychology and all that stuff in, in college. I kind of like I can't not say I'm anything that, but I've looked at stuff like that where you can kind of catch the matters of people lying. That's right. a little bit of it. I think even the one commenter I think I saw. Why are you smiling so much, Jeff? Why are you smiling so much, Jeff? <laughs> go, go, get, get, go if. There was one where I saw where someone's like, yeah, my wife's like a like a, a master's in psychology and and. Hello, she was hello, like, hello, hello, hello. Wait, oh, go up. Is that Hassan? I just saw Hassan. Keep going up. This? That's Mr. Bean. Right no, no. Keep going up. There you oh, go. Right him. That's him. That's him right there. It's a song. That's his real picture. Yeah, Hassan. And we'll talk about it. And the the one thing that makes me go, yeah, is the Hassan translation in Tur- in uh, Turkish or whatever. Yeah. So we'll so really quick. Cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just go back to that. Actually. Yeah, let's so, yeah, go, please. Uh, Can we do the twenty nine seconds mark thing? Yeah. There it is. All right. So trespasser, the P in trespasser is is covered, and then the T in the. You know, I don't think he really did. 
Yeah, so it's so really right here, T it's, and P it's are covered. Kill the the trespasser. So T is covered. I mean, it's not covered all the way. You can still see the T a little bit. Uh, but that, that that's perfectly lined up with PT right there. Yep, or TP, as I, as I for your bunghole. TP for your bunghole. Um, T's are playable. Yeah, T's are playable. <laughs> uh, I mean, that works too. Let's see. The app thing is super interesting. The BB game series is kind of funny. That's uh, funny. BB, BB with of course for death. Death Stranding, Death Stranding. yep. Yeah, Snowflakes of Blood. Uh... Yeah, uh, which is a thing in... Uh, um, in Well, Snowflakes are, I guess, kind of like the, the, the soot in uh, Silent Hill, and um, or the ashes, I guess. And then uh, I think it... Does it rain... Does it rain uh, blood yeah, in people, Death People were saying this, too, yeah, that... Uh, He's wearing a uh, Sandbridge is wearing blue and gets to the cardboard box into a cardboard box. Oh, Which, they also said that uh, the someone in my comments was great. They they uh, oh you know let me read the comment. I thought it was hilarious, um, but like in a in a really fun way. It was funny. Let me see. Like it's stretching, but it's, it was fun. Let me read it. Uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, actually, you can keep talking while I look. Oh no, I found it. Okay. Uh, another, this is from Enzo on my, my uh, video I made for it. Uh, another curious fact is that in a color wheel, orange is always at the opposite side of blue. Blue being a primary color, orange it being its uh, complementary. So when Sam in that trailer flips the box containing the oranges, he is in fact creating a blue box. <laughs> so I was like, whoa. <laughs> if this is all set up, <laughs> that's ridiculous, but I love it. It's uh, so crazy. Let's see. I love it. I love it so much that people can fucking break these down like this. Uh, so much fun. Blue Box, only other game was The Whisper committed by another studio. His icon is a black handprint. And yeah, The Whisper yeah. did look like a fucking Silent Hill PT style game. It, lo it looked like what, what we first saw um, from Resident Evil 7. Yeah. Like, it wasn't graphically the same thing, but you're just walking through a yeah. you know, creepy house and stuff. Um, so. One of the canceled games names, Lost Tapes, Soundtrack of Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh... Oh, his backpack yeah, uses the Netherlands logo. Yeah, which is where they're supposed. Apparently, to be. also Kojima has like a small studio in in Netherlands as well. Apparently, or something like that. Uh, wow! Uh, all right, check this out. I don't know, David. Have you actually followed any of this at all, or no? No. All right, so let me show you something really funny. Gordon knows what I'm gonna do here. Yeah. Of course. I planned it. Uh, hero so his last name is hero remember that yeah so, so then we go to so uh, now hero from japan japanese hero from japanese translated to english what the fuck there it is oh there you go wait. Oh wait, no, never mind. I thought I had it for a second. Yeah, you 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 just confused. Yeah, <laughs> I, I confused myself. <laughs> I think you're confused. All right, David, uh, I'm confused. Control. And then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Karm. It's it's. Kojima. Or is it or is it Hideo? <laughs> Hideo. There you go. Hideo. Hideo. Hero. Also hero. Hideo. Coincidence. Hmm. Mm, hero. Euro. Hideo Hiro Kojima? Kojima Hiro Karama Hasama. What's his name? Hassan? Boss of Chronicles. Hassan? What does Hassan mean in Japanese? Look it up. It means Kojima. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, one of their canceled games, uh, Sam. Okay. Uh, most of the tweets made by Blue Box are at a strange local time hours of around That's 3 a.m. The studio is claimed to be located in the Netherlands. Uh, Kojima is located in Japan, which is seven hours ahead in time. So it would make sense if he was tweeting it because it would be it would be 10 a.m. besides 3 a.m. Right. Mm -hmm. So. But that one uh, feels weird because you would think that if you're going to put that much effort into something, you'd use a fucking VPN to hide that a little bit, you know? Sure. Yeah, that 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 uh, is a Can little you use a thing. VPN to hide your tweets. I didn't know that. Not hide your well, tweets, but like move your location around. Yeah. So then oh, set yeah, it to yeah. local time for that. Yeah, sure, sure, like that might be a. a but it would up. still not make sense, though, right? Because if they were, they already said they're in the Netherlands, they already know what time that would should be, right? So even if you have a VPN, it would still 
they know that blue box is associated with Netherlands. They came out and said that. No, right? but what they're saying is Netherlands. It's it's it would be three a.m. in the Netherlands wherever they're posting. When they whenever they're tweeting, right? So they don't need even a VPN wouldn't help because we yeah. all know they're posting. No, because they're looking yeah. at, like if you convert your time. <laughs> That's what saying, is it still? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Really, yeah, you're, unless like, you're like I don't know when the Netherlands is right now. Time. Yeah, like it's right bizarre. now. Say, I'm sorry. Go ahead, David. Uh, no, uh, what I was saying is that um, even if you set your VPN for it, uh, I think technically Twitter checks where your actual system time is versus your location time. But Which, so, again, that's something even, you can probably... That, like, if if they tweeted right now, I don't know what Netherlands is time-wise from me. Yeah, right now, okay. Right now, it's 11, 11, you know, all right. Just so like, like, like saying, you don't need it's to... It's 11 p.m. and they tweeted right now. Then I know, oh, this time, let me see what time it is right now in the Netherlands. And then I'll be like, oh, it's 3 a.m. over there. So, yeah. so in theory, if you're in Japan Either doing way, it, you could still fine. be like, okay, well, it's 7 a.m. in the Netherlands. So I'll tweet right now or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you don't really need so, to, be, but that is a weird slip up. VPN, sure. Uh, the last one. Uh, I you also, know what? A lot, a lot of stuff going on. The I last one is, is, I don't know if that's even a thing I'd even like quantify again this is there's most throws more of a wrench it might be more of a fucking this one is crazy though that that uh they have a low quality asset flip stuff all over the app store one of them is gofit xl which is under the health and fitness category the description of this app is let's see if we just go straight to here it says at one point so it might not say it anymore uh no right here gotta be kojima right <laughs> this oh, is a diet list activity and exercise programs personal training misspelled pt misspelled. programs yeah, they misspelled exercise like in two different ways. Uh, yeah. No details provided. Developer has not. Uh, oh, wait, go up. What does it say there in the information? In the information. Go down. Hold on, I don't want to look at this. Oh, yeah. okay. Head Basketball XL. Let's see what this one does. Does it say PT also? Choose your head in the game. <laughs> wait, is that, is that Shaq? In head basketball oh. game, you only play is that, is that basketball with head. I think okay. so. I don't know. I guess. I don't oh, know. It's Kevin Loves. What is Kevin Love, though? I don't know. See, like, oh, he, would have, one's... he would have to have bought this out, but at that point, this is like a weird coincidence because you're not going to put something out for like sight. this sort of this, like this sort of thing. Uh, high in plain sight. You can make those games in probably, I bet mean, Kojima can make those games in about an hour. Yeah, put sure. Put them out. No, no one will know. It's <laughs> just. I'm sliding in under the radar. Make a broken ass English. (laughs) Something about head or whatever. It's technically you're allowed to use it because it's all free assets and stuff. So, um, so let's let me go over to uh, Jason Schreier, who's been doing some uh, doing some digging around as he can. Oh, there you go. Let's see. I think that was it, wasn't? He has. I'm following. I'm following. He's been tweeting about it for like the last like couple days. Uh, yeah. I've been catching up on the abandoned Hideo's Silent RG conspiracy. It's truly incredible. I personally couldn't care less about Silent Hill, but I sure do hope this is real. Oh, well, fuck off. I was once on the fence before, but now I'm honestly convinced this is Kojima. Uh, he did the whole thing here where Hassan, would that equals Kojima if you yeah. translate everything? Uh, it could be a new thing, too, like he said. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it really is a new thing, but it has Kojima's name on it. He does somewhere. have. He does point out the Jeff Keighley video as being like the, the biggest tell, he thinks. Uh, the one, because it's, yeah. it's just very weird. Uh, the strongest yeah. case against this is what I agree with is the strongest case against conspiracy is the developer had a multi-year history of strange releases and this one failed Kickstarter, which the only remedy is that if Kojima bought it afterwards, he said, "Hey, I want the studio. I'm gonna do something with it. I'll buy you because you're not doing shit anyway, or whatever." He might have even saw that it was just called Blue Box, and that sounded mysterious to him. Yeah, uh, oh, and yeah. then he goes, after several hours going down the rabbit hole, I'm no longer 100 percent because it is Kojima. Could very well be someone crafting all these coincidences to build buzz. But no matter yeah, what that's happens, what I was thinking too. this will remain one of the most entertaining video game stories of the year. Now, if if this dude is legitimately like not actually associated, it's not, not too sure. No, no, this if this dude is associated with like, like not associated with it and is doing his own thing, this dude is a master classic guerrilla fucking marketing. Like he has yeah, nailed the good. fucking zeitgeist, realizes the fucking fan like the fan fervor over fucking Silent Hill and Kojima. Said, let me fucking put uh, breadcrumbs here and sell my fucking game. And this dude is an actual master class at it. What's the fucking yeah. weird thing is he has no history of ever doing this shit. He has a fell Kickstarter with obviously a fell Kickstarter, even though if it got someone invested on it, it's a fell Kickstarter and a yep. bunch of just like trash on the iOS store. Yeah. So there's no history of this guy, this guy really doing well all of a sudden out of nowhere. 
Um, unless unless he's not real, and it's all ruse. Uh, that all fucking beautiful man in that picture, he's not real. He does have a game that you can't play on the store, which is interesting. That I could mean, also. I'm, aban- I'm assuming it's abandoned. Yeah, I that assume. could just be that. Yeah, it could just be a game that we, that no one wants right now. They want Silent Hill. <laughs> Uh, I would love if it came out and it actually did look amazing and it just had nothing to do with Kojima. Be like, oh shit, well, hey, it looks fucking good. <laughs> okay, so what's Demon Blood? Blue this is a Siren, this is a Siren Head game. Was, wait, huh, was playing it and it's not. Oh, it's a story. Yeah. It's a Siren Head game, the one they were talking but, about in there. Yeah, 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 because I remember reading that. Played too. this two Siren months Head. ago and it's on the store. I'm surprised there's it's not no even. Siren Head it's not even like a real. Out. Unless this guy misspelled it? No, yeah, he misspelled it. No, that that's that's an E. That in Siren. Like an e, yeah. It's, yeah, that's an E. He just fucked up. Um I think a lot of people were asking me, him if it is a Siren game, just Siren, not Siren Head. Um so Siren Head is a free to play game on Steam as well. Oh, okay. So it's a free to play game. But so, but it's on PSN though. Well maybe that's uh maybe that's photoshopped. Huh? Did anybody else look up his name and see if he was playing it? We didn't see it. I guess it would only show trophies, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's no trophies. Um, <clears throat> he had oh, other Blue posts. Games oh shit, Keanu Reeves even threw in his input. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw his face. What did he say? He had other He's stuff like, on CD Projekt Red. I'm like, no. Please, no. Thank you, believe it's not real. Hey, kudos to him if it is bullshit, though. He did a great job, son. You even no change way. your name to make it hero, yeah. so you can be like your your hero and everyone's hero. Hideo, hero, hero, hero Kojima. See, because like even when uh, Kojima was or Konami was fucking doing that, apparently in the backstage of VGA, all the Konami people were wearing Phantom Pain shirts. Yeah, but that was also seven. No, that was even longer. It was like eight or nine years ago when they announced Phantom Pain. That was twenty twelve. Yeah, like, like this is the comment the, you were reading. The Game Awards. A graphic designer I work with pointed this out to me. If you look at a color wheel, the opposite of orange is blue. So if you, yeah, well, yeah, that's what you're reading from somebody different. So you can read. I mean, it's nothing. Well, it wasn't. That's right. where you it probably found tight. it. Yeah, that's probably where you found it. Tim flipping the box of oranges. Yeah. So yeah, and, and and if we go back and think about that trailer, it's pretty fucking weird. It is weird. It's very Kojima weird too, if you really think about it, because the narrations like is totally like a, a long soliloquy uh, of, from some character from a Kojima game, um, and the, the audio is weird. Like like the the voice acting's not terrible, but the narration's weird considering what you're watching, and also the audio quality is weird too. But the the voice acting's technically not that bad. I don't know from whoever voiced it. I wish we could get whoever. I'm gonna play this. It. I'm gonna. Uh, unshare the stream for a second so I can make the, the video smoother for you guys. Yeah, it's a little... Because it's we, we built it for uh, t- for reading. So yeah. let's stop that. We're going to share this again. And we're going to do smoother video. This shit... I love this shit, honestly. I probably love this shit more than I probably like the fucking game. If it is real. It takes a little while to get to the box. Yeah. But I'm just letting you know. Yeah, it's like more than halfway through, I think. There it is. Fragile, handled with care, love, or whatever. It's so like he's wearing blue. There's a box. It's very long for a joke that we all understood, you know? Yeah, I think that that was the point. Is the, though? No, it is. But like, I mean, like this, this whole thing is like. There's the oranges. And you get a close up on the orange. It's so weird. Why? And it's he just stares at the box the for so long. Like, I get, we get the joke, right? Like. Yeah. I like, mean, clearly not, because so many people are like, does this mean we get new Metal Gear? <laughs> that's that that's little fair. did they know we got a new silent hill maybe so box and then oh and then the blue's gonna go in the box wait hold on he's uh, after 25 minutes of him looking at it gonna <laughs> do it but there he goes oh blue's in the box you know it'd been great if they played like you know re- like really low volume just a silent hill sound effect when he jumped in like i can't think of a i'm sure maybe something we're listening to is some fucking stock from like silent hill origin or some shit Maybe that would be that would be the perfect one for me because I don't remember any of the music in Silent Hill Origins. And then handle with love. 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 It's, it's the fifth element. <laughs> fifth element. Is there anything Wait, in here um, that umbrella? looks? Umbrella box. 
Uh, what is that thing on the left? It's like a wine glass, I guess. With a with a piece taken out. I don't know what it's supposed to be. And then recycle. No, this is this is umbrella. This what does that like, say? Fiber like, and what? Yeah, this looks like glass. Love... I don't know what this yeah, middle thing is one. though. Wu Tang. <laughs> yeah, it's Wu Tang. Wu Tang's in the silent game. Tang. I wonder if there's anything anyone looked on this because this is such a umbrella, there's some long Resident shot Resident on here. What is that fiber and stuff? Pig, pig skins? The fuck is that? Oh no, this is oh, awesome. This is a death stranding thing. Huh? This is a death stranding thing, but I'm curious about the rest of it. Oh yeah, no, the the, the skull hands. I'm pretty sure. No, I know. But I'm looking at the rest of it. I'm trying to see if there was anything on that. Whatever. Well, actually, go go back where I had the long shot of everything on the fucking um. Yeah, like right here when he grabs the box and they put it right there. Sure, but like, keep going. Is that the is that the Netherlands logo? Yeah, that has to be right. I'm assuming that's the flag for Netherlands. <laughs> I'm gonna look it up really quick. I'm assuming so. Yeah, See, that this is. is fun. Yeah. See, this is fun. It's a good time. I love this. Whoops. Like, remember? Do you remember when the last Cloverfield movie came out and they started to do an ARG thing for it? And then, were, and then it came out. And then, and then it just came out and it's like, oh, look. Like, I, a, I remember covering a little bit of that. And it was so much. There's fun. the fucking yeah. flag. I remember them like connecting the uh, Tim Cloverfield Lane to the new one. I wanna like, having like uh, John Goodman's brother's care, like the character. Last thing we're gonna look at before we head out, because I do gotta get to something else before before i take off uh we're gonna look up that 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 interview sure it's in the beginning somewhere it's right there i think it's towards the end when he's like asking i want to look at this uh, in general the talk the talk takes a little while okay we have another big announcement for you from a surprise okay so that's by the way, we saw that the the next episode you'll see when you see Kojima on the, the Xbox stage looks so young. Yeah, I mean, I guess he was eleven years young, right? Younger. Well, I know Simon we are Frost? all very curious about what the next era of Hideo Kojima Entertainment is going to be. Um, I, I don't know how much you can say, but can you give us any sense of, of kind of where your mind's at right now? What you're thinking about some of the themes? Why does he keep looking away? <laughs> what do you say? What what made him laugh about that? Kind of where your mind's at right now, what you're thinking about some of the themes or the ideas? <laughs> it won't be one won't be step like, at a time. It won't be like the past. It won't be one step at a time. I mean, it, it's fucking coming out. <laughs> It's a drastic change, just like after 9-11, we have to adapt and think about new ways of creating as entertainment can't fall behind. That's why you had to buy some other studio. ARG. Yeah, and have to do this ARG thing, so they can announce that new Silent Hill game's coming out this year. Uh oh, Silent Hill will have aliens. Yeah, he laughs at concept of ideas. We could make up a concept, or we could go back to Silent as a basis of the game. Yeah, think about it. We're thinking. While well, well, I'll be still entertaining, everyone knows it's entertaining. Yeah, with the speed of change. Change. That's a word. All right, fair enough. I tried. Uh, well, Mr. Kojima, yeah. honestly, I, I really do appreciate you making the time to stop by and just say hello to everyone. Uh, we miss you, and we can't wait to see what you're working on. We miss uh, you. Next, so um, thank you. Uh, Jack, Jack. Uh, one more thing. Yeah, okay. And one more thing after this, too. So, in a couple of days, we'll see one more thing. David, you're muted. I'm very still muted. Oh wait, we need to hear his uh his uh thoughts. We need to hear his thoughts and prayers. Pray, 
He's still he's still muted. Can't hear ya. You sure your shit is not on mute? And he just like did give a little tap. And I was like, oops. Ah shit, that's muted. My, Stay I'm, quiet I'm if you hate dumb. gaming. There you go. No, that was oh. you know it was on mute. You could see me fiddle with the USB cable there. I can see it. There you have it, David. What are what are your thoughts? Me, me and Gorbin going down. <laughs> you don't care? No. I thought you liked what? this kind of stuff, though. You like ARGs and fucking rabbit and holes and shit like Hill. that. I don't give. A, I don't care about like. Yes, I am excited about the potential thing of a Silent Hill. I don't have any care about Kojima, though. I I don't. I can't get invested because it's Kojima. I don't fucking care. I find him heavily and way too fucking just his ass with his ideas uh, i don't fucking care i feel like most other people are up 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 their own ass about his like ideas. even in this whole interview oh you know i i don't want to fucking make a game without there being some kind of just fucking make a game well, like, he does. I get it. you want to tell a story you want to get it great cool fine whatever well, look but... at every Saw five it didn't even have a story really fucking i don't i don't fucking care I, yeah, it's just my thing but the ARG's okay. fun look at look it's fun I can't get invested into it fun? because it involves Kojima. I just don't care. Well, but it's not. Is it Hassan K K Karimi? What was his name? Karimi. Uh, so... Karami? Separate Karami the killer? artist from the art, David. <sighs> and just enjoy an ARG for what it is. Because yeah. right now, this no, is taking over the internet. I have an interest in this ARG. All right, Problem David. Solved. David. Doesn't what happens if we... David. All right. Let me... You, you got to be truthful when I ask you this question. What happens if we find out it's not even Silent Hill, but it's like a like a sick new Contra game, so made by I'll someone not Kojima? Game, but I don't fucking care. It, made yeah. by made by the Gears of War guys. All right, we done. <laughs> he needs to fucking leave. Dumb. Let's go. <laughs> I thought right. I thought you genuinely like I, I, I get I what you're you saying. Like I thought you're I, I get I, I get it I get it. It doesn't mean I just get involved in every fucking arc that comes along. Like, but this is I, cool. I just don't fucking care. Right. Sorry, Gore. But, but the Netherlands logo was on the back, <laughs> and they're in there. <laughs> I think it's fun again. Way. I'm not even a fan of Hideo Kojima. I don't, I don't play any of his games. Right. But this, I think, having the internet on a wild goose hunt, just like the the Grinch leak last time with the smashed up. Uh, that I one's think, so stupid. You didn't follow that one though. I had to explain a lot of that no, stuff. No, I you. know it's just stupid. Just listening to people say the it's, Grinch. I yeah, <laughs> but I I love these kind of things because this, this thing is it when you if you're not in this bubble either, this sounds dumb as hell. Especially when you look at this stuff. one. Well, if there's no Grinch thing in this one. Yeah, but I mean, it's, Grinch, the Grinch has no hands on this one. Yeah, but this it's, it wasn't even like a like a primary thing. It was like just like one thing that people latched on to call it that. But I thought that was funny. No, there's a oh, well, the Grinch I, or this because there's a lot of things to latch on. Yeah, no, I'm the saying Grinch the Grinch. Was the, 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 was like yeah, a one one detail in the whole thing. though, is what yeah. I'm saying. But and who, who 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 did they think was going to be in Smash? Because it was all Smash, right? It was Banjo, Ken, Mock Rider, the Chorus Kids, and uh, Isaac Mock from Rider? Golden Sun. Well, Mark Rider, Rider. Was, Mark Rider was a uh, concept that 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 sure. uh, Sakurai wanted in Melee, I think. Uh, uh, the chorus Isaac kids, he, would be amazing. Chorus be kids, he wanted in uh, Smash Four, but couldn't get to work. Uh, Isaac, Isaac I think it was something he wanted. And a lot of people still want Isaac, and obviously Banjo and Ken made it in, and Banjo, Banjo. did. Yeah, Ken, Ken made it in kind of. He's just an echo. But uh, I think I think all these kind of things. I think it's fun to leave the internet on a wild goose chase because people will just like oh, yeah. look for the most random shit, and it's just fun. I think I have a lot yeah. of fun with it. The other day, this... I recommend the uh, the Cloverfield one. Cloverfield yeah. one's great. I'm talking about the original Cloverfield one. Like it was a very muted ARG, but it was there. Like it wasn't quite like this, right. or even like like I guess the Grinch one. Right. But, uh, I I like it. I really do. Like investigate. Uh, even um. I think the newest Blair Witch movie had that, yeah. which is not not a great movie. But anyway, anyway, I like surprises, and I like ones that surprise you, even though you're not gonna be surprised. You know what I mean? Like, like if they said it's Silent Hill at this point, I'd be like, yeah, but I still. It's be, just I'd fun because like, even the most small things, which are just a random funny coincidence, like the trophies. Yeah. Which That's ironically, funny. you could still link if you're just fucking wild, like oh, Swift and Deadly is the the trophy that killed this. <laughs> Like, come on. Uh, on it's deadly. just fun. Anyway, that's the Blu rays podcast. Uh, by the time you listen to this, are we all wrong? Did we waste a lot of time? Probably. Did me and Gore have fun doing it? Yes. Uh, 
stay tuned. I had a good time. He next, just next week, we're going to be doing uh, that that uh, E3 Microsoft conference with Kyle. Yep. Check that out. Uh, after Who that. Who knows if it's good or not? You'll find out. Yeah. I, we didn't really? record it yet. The week after will be yeah, our fine. Games Gone By for Parasite Eve. That will be July 8th. We'll be coming back, and oh, that will yeah. be live stream. We're going back to business as usual on streams. Uh, that following week afterwards, uh, Dave and I are going to be back on that Halo bullshit. Uh, July 29th, Metal Chaos XD for Games Gone By. August 12th, To the Moon. August 26th, Stardew Valley. September 30th, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Yes. So, until then, we're going to have a lot of stuff, I guess, on the what you play and what you get list by the time we, are, uh, we come back. Yeah. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. We all, we all, we all go Everyone's forward. buying Clock Tower 2. Hell yeah, everybody... <laughs> Everybody's buying Silent Hill games to replay. Come on, man. Because Silent Hill, uh, I'm trying to think of it. It's Silent Hill Dread. Oh we, oh, we didn't even look at the last, like, actual thing, huh? Yeah, what the fuck? There it is. Konami Shop. Last thing we actually didn't fucking see. <laughs> oh. Look, look at the at fucking, logo. look at the alignment. Look at the oh, alignment on this thing. There's a five going there, and, and the logo itself is compiled. It's fucking stitched together from all the other corpses of games from uh winter's past so the si right here yeah look at ent look right, right there oh, i thought this was just a shit post i didn't realize like it no, this is real was, no this, this is real the I, I, H I, that, and I thought it was someone's shit post i'm like look all these letters combined to make silent hills like yeah no shit but no look but, like li yeah. look like literally look at this like the si with, with the with the really thin low the look yeah the, the uh, there yeah, the, the L. L too. I guess the L because it's it's because you're gonna take an L when you uh, when we find out this is yeah. Remember <laughs> it's called Silent Hill L. The E N T, the H I, the L L, and then obviously like all this fucking space here. Yeah, there is extra space for that S. Anyway, good thing we caught that before uh, that happened. Anyway, as the Blue Ridge Podcast, we appreciate everyone oh, who watched. Yeah. Come back in a couple of weeks. I I, I just I'm. And watch I'm Gore. Ready. Hey, I, obviously this happened. Gore's gonna have a bunch of fucking videos on this, so go, go, go check that out. Fuck yeah, I'm ready. Hell yeah. I'm, All right, I'm ready, Kojima. Hell yeah. All right, spray, spray your love over me. <laughs> <laughs> Made with love. <laughs>